I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? It's Luis, man. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you. Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! <laughs> Shit! Michael! Save fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother are watching the kids! Yeah, look at me, Shit. Yeah, like I said, man, everything's a little fussy. Well, if you think of anything else, Mr. Lopez. Yeah, sure, sure. I'll give you a call. Thanks. Yo, what's up, Bobby? Hey, Chris? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Tony, it's me. Yeah, there was a bomb at the bank. The place got robbed. Nothing to do with me, I, I swear. Um, some Irish guys. Anyway, um, listen, I'm coming over, okay? So wake up. You hear me? Wake up. Hey, mommy, come with that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I, I was working late at the club. Yeah, mommy, don't be like that, okay? I'll be home soon. Look, I, I gotta go. Okay. Who the fuck is it? It's me, though. No, oh, whatever. Come up. Oh, how are you? I'm good, boss. How are you? Ooh, you look terrible. <laughs> That's good, because I am terrible. Fucking wretched. What's wrong? Oh, the usual. Boyfriend thinks I'm a cash machine. One nightclub catering to the rich, mindless crowd. In the city where the rich, mindless crowd is suddenly poor and mindless. Another club catering to the gay and decadent crowd, where the gay and decadent crowd suddenly think decadence means buying outrageous new throw cushions instead of getting loaded in a bar. And every half-wit, part-time hood in this city thinking, I know. Let's put the squeeze on the club owners. They must really, really want to substitute my inadequacies with their money because, after all, they want to stay up all night talking bullshit to morons because they enjoy it. That sounds pretty usual. Oh, thanks for the support. Hey, that's what I'm here for, boss. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, if the bodyguard business partner thing doesn't work out, you should consider a career as a fucking life coach. A what? Never mind. Did you speak to Troy? Yeah, he said he loves you, but he can't handle working the door at a gay club anymore. He says people are laughing at him. Who's laughing at him? I don't know. I think the little people who live in his head. The ones stuck in 1955. <laughs> oh, I love those people. And what's up with Desi? Yeah, he says he saw you last night. Yeah, and you was holding court with that Chloe Parker until uh, 4 a.m.? I was? Apparently so. Oh, my God. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17-year-old kids whose only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. I should be sent to prison. Shouldn't I? Yeah, most definitely. What's this money? Did you rob your own club? 
Tony, I just went to the bank for you, man. I don't want it in the bank. Hey, Tony, the door was open. Man, it's easier to get into your apartment than into your nightclub. Yeah, we have an Oguido policy at the club. Here I ain't so sure. Oh, I love getting racially abused by a spick. Yeah, who's a fucking taco, Tony? Uh, my business partner, Luis. Gentlemen, watch your language. We're in the great melting pot. We're not spicks or guidos or fags. We're proud Americans. Luis, this is Vince and Rocco, relatives of Gracie. And credit is to you. And guess what? We ain't here about Gracie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. Yeah, good one. See you later. Oh, nice to meet you, Muscles. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> fuck, there goes payroll. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? <laughs> Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from way back. Uh, never mind. Amateurs. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. We need to go to Hercules. Give it up, Tom. Where'd the cash come from? Well, tell me you've been running a skim job. I'm 100% legitimate, Luis. You know me. Total transparency. Sometimes I wonder if you brought me on as a partner just to share the blame when the IRS comes knocking. I was investing in your industry and acumen. Don't look for anything sinister here. That's what you say, T. But I'm kind of suspicious. Maybe witnessing that robbery made me paranoid. And maybe it's just hanging out with you. Who the fuck knows? Here we are. Troy, get over here. A very important client is coming tonight. We need complete discretion. <laughs> you know me, Tone. Don't ask, don't tell. Military grade. Hey, this is serious. He's paranoid no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. Look, I really need to talk to blah, you, Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. We'll be at Masonette. <laughs> Troy's getting anxious. We should all be getting anxious. The nightclub business is going to shit. Forget the banks, we're the ones who needed a bailout. No more of that shit left, eh? Wow, you look like a total cave troll. Time to be charming, Lulu. All right, Tom. Hey, Al. What's up, Tom? I'm told one of your friends is causing trouble out front. Can you go help Desi? You know who it is? I don't know anything about it, but take care of it, Luis. No nonsense. Why are you laying your hands on me like that, man? Luis is my boy! Yo, Luis is his Half boy! Half the people in here say Luis is their boy. The girls all say they're fucking him. I don't care if you're his damn mother. You ain't coming in. Not in them clothes. Not with that attitude. Enjoy looking for a job in this economic climate, motherfucker! Yeah! Yo, what the fuck, eh? Tell this clipboard and earpiece motherfucker to back up, Al. Back up! Yo, what's the problem, D? You asking me? Yo, relax. Go inside. I got it. Yeah, go relax. Go inside, eh? Oh, no, mommy. You need to okay. go relax. Later for you. Guys, ah. nice, shut up, okay? Jeez. Wow. Downtown's really changed you, man. You too good to take money from me and Enrique now? You know it ain't even like that, bro. Okay, you don't pay for shit in here. Okay, you just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. You said that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Desi wouldn't let me address like that, huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> Do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right. So take some time off. The girls in there could use a night off, too. <laughs> we up. Bye-bye, gentlemen. Nice boss you got there. Stuck a fucking fag. Mike, come on. Hey. Oh, yeah. I've been thinking about this. How many days a week you work those corners? Seven days. Junkies need junk, rain, sleep, or shine. You ain't no postman, loco. You a pusher. All those hours, you'd make more slinging meat at burger shop than risking a bit on them corners. You sound like 5 0. Shit. You think Enrique could get a job at burger shop? What's your IQH? 76, motherfucker. What they gonna let you do at burger shop with an IQ sub 80? 
They're just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean, now? They don't even have dishes at Burger Shop. All this shit is polystyrene. There ain't another job in the city for this dumb bastard to do. Hourly wage considered and all. You don't get no pussy work in Burger Shop, neither. If them Ivy League motherfuckers can't find work, what you think Rike's meant to do? Work them corners, man. Work them corners. I cured on me nothing, man. You guys are better than this. I don't want any of us to go away again. Then come on board with us. We can start selling our own product. Your connections, man. We'll have the whole city on our gear. I took a bit for you once, man. I ain't going back there. You think I put in all this work to go back inside? Prison was the best thing that happened to you, L. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Before you went in there, you was a skinny little shit, and now you pumped up. Don't tell me that sugar daddy of yours would have been interested in the scrawny fucker that went away. Little Luis, little Luis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you so much, man. Never thought about being grateful to you for signing me up to the fight off hairy ass rapist day and night exercise plan. My fucking pleasure, bro. Here we be. Thanks, Luis. Ladies, L. Tell that boss of yours we'll be back same time next week. Yeah, see you on my way, boss. Yeah, it's me, Thon. Things go smooth at the clubs? <laughs> made me wonder why I need you around at all. Oh, great. I might just take a vacation then. Come on, I was kidding. The clubs fell apart without you. So that bank robbery on the news could have been an opportunity for some positive PR. Fuck that shit. I don't need any press like that. Not with the way police treat an ex-con in this town. <laughs> have it your way. See you soon. Maury, shit, no, no, Maury, Maury, no, I, I got the money, seriously, that's not the issue. No, I just want to make you happy. Is, is there anything else my team can do for you? No, we can do events, parties. <laughs> no, anything you like, just, just give it a think. All right, bye-bye. What a dick. What's up, T? Oh, I don't want to think about what's up. Come on, there's something I got to take care of. All right, think. Ah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tony! You remember me? Of course, of course. Uh, my business partner, Mr. Lopez. Yusuf Amir. What is up, homie? Not much. <laughs> hey, you guys want to join us maybe for uh, a bit of this or a bit of that? Ah, uh, we'd love to, but we gotta go deal with some business. Okay, good. Good seeing you. Yeah. Take care, huh? Oh, 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 And uh, if you ever want to talk about franchising this place, huh, just give me a call. We will. We absolutely will. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the mood, baby. Ya wallahi. Ha, ha. Wallahi. We gotta go to Dragonheart Plaza. Take this gun, Luis. Just in case. Just in case? Oh, this is some sci-fi shit. I know a guy who gave me a deal. What can I say? It helps to be prepared. Tony, man. We're going to Chinatown? Really? What? We got business. Tony, you know what you like on the MSG. Those fucking headaches. You won't leave the house. Or for a fucking air grow. I don't mean. Oh, I'm glad you care. It ain't that I care. It's that I can't take the money. Well, we're not heading out for dim sum. Rocco's asked to talk to someone. 
The rental guido pretending to be a gangster? Now I wish we were getting takeout. Hey, we're in debt to the kid and his uncle, and he's got the ear of one of the most powerful families in the city. We gotta at least pretend to play ball. In that case, I guess my brother is in good hands. You take care of that prick. It seems the definition of family loyalty differs in your country. The marketplace has a value for everything, and I guess that a disloyal Jew bastard ain't worth shit to me. Brother or no brother. Such are the heady joys of consumer capitalism. A system that's flaws are becoming increasingly evident. Ah, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. You little yellow people are commies too, huh? Both sides of the fence? You know, I grew up watching your kind getting killed on the TV. Hell of a show. I'm sure, but perhaps the show wasn't as much fun as the reality of that war. Hmm, perhaps not. Now I bid you farewell, sir, and don't do all that smack at once. On second thought, you know, go ahead. Do. Boo. Hey, watch it, you greaseball fuck. I apologize for our associate's uncouth manner. I can only say that our partnership with him is one of necessity, not volition. Please, you must be the famous Tony Prince. Ah, uh, notorious, maybe. This is Luis Lopez, my business partner. Hey. Mr. Pelosi has led me to expect much from this meeting. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. Rocco has a tendency to promise more than he can deliver. So that must have been weaned too early. Yeah, we're not weaned at all. As you can see, we are already behind schedule on this project. We need you to... Uh, how do I put this? To uh, clear things with the planning department and to ease some licensing troubles. Hey, look, we're not lawyers, okay? We run nightclubs. Pretty badly, too. <laughs> we got enough trouble keeping the licenses on our own clubs, okay? We don't do licenses. Before I was being polite, Mr. Lopez, but I do not have to be. Mr. Pelosi made it clear that you are not in a position to choose who you help and who you do not. Yeah, well, that kid's got a big mouth, okay? And he ain't in no position to be writing checks for us, okay? We are not going to be able to help you. Period. Let's go, Tom. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Um, you uh, are not going anywhere until we have an arrangement. No, I'm afraid we are. There is no arrangement. You got a problem? Take it up with your boy Rocco. <laughs> you are not negotiating column inches and bar tabs, you insolent fuck! We are serious people! <laughs> really? Hmm. Yeah, really! <laughs> what is wrong with you? I was supposed to be the irrational idiot with the anger issues. I got anger issues, okay? The guy threatens to shoot me because I can't arrange a liquor license for him. Please, give me a break, T. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. They're coming for us! These guys are coming, they heard that shot! <laughs> Assholes! Way out. We're fucking surrounded. Luis, will you do me the honors? Fuck! Come, 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 come. I'm coming for you! I've got a feeling. Fuck you, bro. This ain't ending nice! It's all China I'm gonna do you! Let's go. 
brains out of our asses now. Leave it to me. You just concentrate on looking pretty. Yeah, absolutely, T. You've done such a great job so far. You gonna call Rocco then? Rip him a new one? I get a feeling we ain't the only ones who'll be ripping him, Lou. God, I need my pills. Don't take that shit, T. I'm serious. Hello. Tommy! What's happening, man? Who's this? Who? The guy who wants to talk about franchising your club! Hey, those conversations are usually Tony's department. But Mr. Tony gave me your number. There are some other matters I need to discuss before we get down to the real shit. Hey, if Tony gave you my number, then it's okay, bro. Great! Come hang out at my apartment. It's right on the middle park. Prime location. One of the most exclusive in the city. Top dollar shit. You'll love it. Yeah, all right. I'll be by sometime. Just don't wait up. Aquí está su cafecito. Gracias. ¿Quieres azúcar? No. Mami, soy yo. Ay, Luis. Hey, hijo, ¿quieres un cafecito? Sí, un ching. Un ching. Uh, Luis, this is Mr. Santos. What's going on? Hey, I guess I didn't recognize you from your mom not having any pictures of you up on the walls. Yeah, I guess she doesn't have any up. Now you mentioned it. I guess mugshots don't sit along too well with graduation shots. Hey, who the fuck are you? Well, it's complicated. Mr. Santos is a businessman. It's not that complicated when you think about it. You see, your mother here has been making that classic American mistake. In other words, she's been living beyond her means. Hey, bro, be polite when you talk about my mother, man. I'm being very polite. See, I like her. She's a good woman. If I ain't like her, I would have burned this building down by now. I mean, you know you could have came to me for money. But what would you do to get it? Yeah, I wouldn't borrow it for a piece of shit like this. Hey, be careful, kid. I could have you killed. Oh, I'm real scared of you, motherfucker. Huh? How do you sleep at night, man? Long talking to old women. Hey, hey, hey. She called me, okay? It's business. We run a service. She knew the rules. She should have read the small print. You know, you really are a piece of shit. I'm a businessman, and trust me, it could get a lot worse, my friend. Now calm the fuck down. Your mother told me about you. Maybe you can help me pay off your mother's debt. That way, this building doesn't have to come to an unfortunate end. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. As always, nice to see you, Miss Lopez. Luis, be careful. Yeah, it's a bit rich coming from you. You ought not to judge me, Luis Lopez. You're just like your father. You're gonna start fighting for money again. Sorry, bro, but I don't do that no more. I saw you go a few years back. Could have been something if you didn't care so much about that pretty face of yours. Thanks, but that ain't the reason I quit. You ain't quit no more. My thinking is you were bad enough for no one to notice when you take a dime. You beat the first two guys I set you up with. Then you fall on the third. Fuck, bro. Shit, bro. I sure didn't think I'd be coming back here again. Man, there's probably even some guys on the scene that still remember me. If they ain't all fucked up by now.
pussy that I remember. Hey, man. You know you did the right thing. Nice to see a man like you swallow his pride for his mama. Yeah, just stay the fuck away from him, okay? You got your money. We done. Listen to me. I was there for your mama when you weren't. I think you must have lost some brain cells in that fight. Yeah, if I see you again, I'll kill you, bro. I'm out. Hijo. I took a dive in that fight for you, mommy. You don't know that guy any more money. What do you mean you took a dive? Do you mean you lost? You claim to be some big shot, and you can't even win a fight for your mama? I lost a fight for you, mommy. I didn't ask you to lose no fight. I did not ask for losers in my family. You know what? Forget about it, ma. Just don't go borrowing any more money. See you soon. Hey! Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? What you mean, homie? You can't be sitting here, man, watching him. Any fool policeman on his second day on the job will know you're the guy with the shit, man. You'll wind up back inside, you moron. It's nice to see you, Mr. Big Shot. Real nice to see you. Captain Downtown. Come up here to talk down to his old friends? Yeah, I just care about you guys, okay? I don't have a choice, man. My right-hand man got a single-digit IQ. Hey, H, come over here, man. Of course, I could do what you did. Run the fuck away, go fuck a man or some shit. Yo, I ain't fucking no man, bro, okay? I'm working the best clubs in the city. I ain't go nowhere. I'm 10 minutes away on the train. 10 fucking minutes. What's up, H? It's like, it's another country down there. 10 fucking minutes. I give you 10 fucking minutes. You ran away. Yo, whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. You want a job, bro? I'll get you a job, man. You know that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I want a job sucking some aging Playboy's cock. I want that job real bad. Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> You're such a dick, bro. You would know. Enrique, would you get the moron to shut up, please? I'm sorry, man. I just miss you. But maybe I express myself coarsely, but we was like family. Oh, yeah, loco, we are family, man. But family doesn't mean we have to live up here slinging dope to a bunch of suburban punks from Aldene. Man, don't complain about how life could be. We on the doorstep, man. Liberty fucking city. We could run the fucking world, man. Oh, and you running the world? Or you running errands for some ass muncher? Yo, Tony's all right, man. He's, He's like, like the, the daddy, daddy I never had. had. Oh, <laughs> fucking sugar daddy. Hey, whatever, man. My mate. Luis, boys. Hey, mommy, hey, Mrs. How Zero. are you, boys? Hey, Mrs. <laughs> Hi, Luis. Oh, you look tired. Hey, mommy, I've been working, you know. I do know, that's the problem. When you're going back to school. Ay, mommy, por favor. I hear you're going back to school, Armando. Doing an MBA, Mrs. L. <laughs> hey, let's go. Mommy, I gotta go, okay? But here, take this. We gotta... <laughs> Luis, take your life more seriously, baby, please. Don't be like your father. Look at your brother, look at your sister. They're doing so well. Mommy, I know, but what do you expect? I gotta hang out with morals like these two, okay? Bye. <laughs> let's go. More us like us, eh, my brother? Ah, you know how mommy is. Well, like a woman has been abandoned by her children? Okay. Lulu, Lulu, Lulu. I know you think we small. I know you think we ain't shit. But that's why I hit you up, man. Why? Because we got something real coming down. Yeah, the last time we had something real coming down, I did two years. Look, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by telling you shit is gonna be different now. But it is. It is. Come on, trust me. Let's go. We got a meeting set up over in East Hook. Can you drive us? Yo, Mando, Rike, I'm serious about this, man. You need to get out of this place. Make something of yourself. Easy for you to say, Don Juan. I don't get your problem with the neighborhood. The heights ain't all bad, bro. Oh, yeah, sure it ain't, man. How many kids from our class stuck around up here? None that did anything. Them punks Oscar, Willie, and Alonso did. And look where they at. Fuck them. You had some good times here. Don't forget about that shit. You remember the summer of 99? Yeah, I do. It was damn hot that year, wasn't it? Hot as shit up here in 99. And we started getting into that Vespucci University Toto. Remember that? Nothing quite like college girls. Yo, even Rike got him something, didn't he? <laughs> Yo, 
oh shit, that Iberian girl. Fuck the glasses <laughs> right off her nose. I sure did. Yo, hey, everybody gotta grow up someday. Not if you live next to a college, you don't. Them bitches stay the same age your whole life. True, bro, but that's not what I meant. I know. Shit. How them Gomez boys anyway, Luis? Hey, you know I don't see them dumb fucks no more. Ha <laughs> ha. 5-0 think you do. 5-0 asking us about you and them all the time. You see Luis Lopez up here with the Gomez boys? You see Mr. Luis Fernando Lopez associated with Willie Valero? Ha <laughs> ha. It's like they obsessed. Yeah, man. You get bagged with a couple of punks. That's like you're associated with them for the rest of your life. 5-0's dumb. Fucking useless, bro. All the crimes out of control in this city. I can think of a few other reasons, too. Speaking of crime, bro, what the fuck are we doing here? Me and Rika got a new package. Shit's good enough for us to start seriously stepping on shit and making some real profit. Product, then profit, then pussy. P, P, P. That's how it works, bro. Sure it does, Rika. And you remind me why I'm coming along on a motherfucking dope deal? I don't touch that shit no more, man. I got a legitimate source of income. Chill out, bro. We just having a final meet with the guy to smooth out some details. You know there's a really help pedal, right? Respectable punk like you along. Yo, this is just for appearances, right? You sure? Yo, sure, I'm sure. Just for appearances. We shaking hands with the man is all. Nothing incriminatory. Fuck, bro. Okay, okay. Only because I love you guys. You should know that. Shit, Mando, you right. What? The big queen really has groomed this fool. He gay, 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 gay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck you, bro. Heavy armor may be the best way to dissuade foolish cats from action. Take an auto shoddy and some grenades, L. Yeah, I'd like to see how you guys strap up when you think the exchange ain't gonna be civil. <sighs> Fucking cocksuckers. Papi, what's up, man? Hey, hey, hey middle man, Mano, what's uh, good? Chilling, bro. All right. Bobby, what's up? What up, baby? Yo, but who's this clown right here? Yo, be easy, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is Luis Lopez. He's our boy. Yo, you gotta say my name, bro. Luis, you don't gotta worry about shit. Papi's a businessman, legit. He's our connection, bro. Joris package in town. You know, I got that raw, baby. You already know. To a fruitful relationship. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, the bitch. Oh, damn oh, it. Oh, it's gone. Oh! Yo, what the fuck? That sounds. Yo, you motherfucker, you shut me up, huh? You were following, right? Yo, we wasn't. Were you back? What's going on? What's going on? They must have got it on phone. Yo, fuck that, you fucking amateurs. I'm out of here, man. Backs against the wall, bro. It's up and down.
Yo, we got a minor problem with the door. Hold on. Anno Annihilate is back. Run! We ain't moving with that right, thing there. Go. See if there's ah. something we can take it out with in that noose van. Who the fuck the noose will be packing one of these? make a U-turn, we're safe. So much for that package of yours. No load of work for nothing, bro. Fuck. Oye, Mando, you gotta be careful with them phones, man. People are onto that shit. That jingo is a Mac, but that shit means they can pretty much read your thoughts now and get away with it. Thanks for the lecture, Professor. I didn't know a two-year stretch qualify you to teach Street Life 101. Oh yeah, I ain't lecturing you. I'm just looking out for my boys. Ain't that what you do at them clubs of yours? He looks out for boys in tight denim shorts. Oh, wow. We back there again. Luis, bro, you want us to come downtown to lecture you on interior decoration? Or boulevard musicals? Or sucking cock? I don't think you do. Oh, yeah, sabe que? Now that you mention it, I could do with some big sucking lessons. I hear you nailed your technique on the last bit of state, eh? We was just close friends. Whatever anyone told you was fucking bullshit, man. Fucking bullshit! He's a good guy, got three kids. I think we hit a nerve. Someone misses their cellmate. Fuck you! Both of you! Yeah, I don't see why you guys are giving me shit. You was the ones who asked me to come along on this thing. We asked you along to look pretty. We didn't know shit was gonna fuck up. Yeah, well, shit did fuck up. And I nearly got killed. So I think I earned the right to be hurt for a second. Oh, Luis got his panties in a twist. Speak your piece, bro. Look, as you say, I ain't an expert in this shit. But I do run a business. You know there's a break You run a shit, do you? Where's the money, then? You gonna listen to me or what? You're never gonna get anywhere if you guys are the ones selling on the corner. There's enough chumps out there to do that work for you. Just get involved in the high-level shit, man, and never talk on the motherfucking phone. That's all well and good, bro. But selling in our issue is getting hold of product. What are you talking about, man? There's product all over the city. Just take it off, motherfuckers. Steal that shit? They ain't exactly gonna call it 5-0, are they? You could be right, bro. Other than this shipment we're being paid to oversee, there ain't nothing else coming in for us. We might just have to start ripping people off. Gonna help us? Man, I don't know. I don't know. I could do with the money. Two boys is clowns. Luis back on board, bro. I knew it. Look at that shit. You have arrived. Thanks, bro. You know I hate to ask this now, you all Johnny Lawful and shit. But me and Enrique are gonna need to do some serious work if we're gonna maintain shit on these streets. We could use someone we could trust. Mira, pana. You know I said I wouldn't get involved in that no more. I'll have to think about it, bro. Thanks, Luis. We'll see you soon, yeah? Oh, where the fuck have you been, man? Yeah, I came as soon as I could. I don't pay for as soon as I could. Sleep with half the women in Liberty City, no doubt. What's wrong with you, man? You're acting like an asshole. You think I don't know that? You think I like being like this? Then what's wrong, T? I fucked up. Good and proper. I work on Gangwa Nightlife 20 years. I beat everyone. Mayors, rivals, drugs, everyone. And this time, I fucked up. I'm the only man in the history of this town with the hottest gay and straight clubs at the same time, and I'm about to lose everything. What are you talking about, T? I don't know if it's that idiot Evan, or, or the economy, or this fucking cocaine, or the pills, which I am not taking anymore. But this time, I fucked up. Oh. Oh. I've done a deal with the wrong devil, man. I'm such an idiot. Things have been bad before, man. You get us out of it. I fight, you plot, together we get out of it. Sure, but we've never been this fucked before. Hey, you saved me, man. Made me. Gay Tony will always be the king of this town. You are this town. I sold a business to two different people, and they each think they own the lot. Man, we're fucked. So I'll go tell them they gave you the money as a present. If they don't like it, I take them to the special VIP room at the bottom of the West River. <laughs> it's gonna be very crowded in the VIP room. <laughs> These are not nice people, and there's a lot of them. And right now, you and me have to go play nice with one of them so they don't start sending rent a Goomba into the club. Fuck. It's gonna be okay, man. Yeah, whatever. Meanwhile, there's a there's this 
blogger, this nebbish with an internet connection, bad-mouthing me all over town? Do you know this guy? The, the celebrinator? Celebr what? I, whatever. Come on. All right, who's the girl? There wasn't a girl, man. There's always a girl. Head down to the pier. We're meeting Rock at the driving range. Fucking Rocco. After what happened in Chinatown, please tell me we're gonna take a nine-iron to his legs. You think I like running around for that little shit? There was a time when the name Tony Prince meant something downtown. If you think I signed up to be this Boy Scout mafioso stooge with a big grin on my face. Yeah, well being his stooge's stooge ain't too much glamour neither. Money makes a man do strange things. Pussy makes him do stranger things. But luckily, I'm not susceptible to those perils like you are. Toto don't get you killed nearly as much, if recent times is anything to go by. Don't underestimate it, Luis. The Snatch has brought down empires bigger than our own. You should get some t-shirts made, T. Get out of the nightclub business and concentrate on your philosophical sayings. Let's go find them. Oh! Rock, hey, how are you? There they are, the spick and the fag. Tony, shit, you got burrito breath. You ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Yo, Rock, you invested in the wrong clubs, man. Maybe split sides is more your vibe. Oh, but a bum. I'm sure I would have found that funny if I spoke spick. Real shame, I'll have to ask my maid to translate for me. Rock, what do you need? I need you to help me get some information out of this union prick who's decided to get an overinflated opinion of himself. These fucking guys, stuck in the 1970s or something. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> you fucking missed me, you piece of shit. Fucking prick. Oh, big man. Yeah, yeah, you fuck, you missed me. I'm bitch. gonna get down there and go you talk missed. to him. Like you bag. hit him with some balls when I tell you to, huh? <laughs> you think you can do that for me, Louise? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Daddy, shit! Eye on the ball! Get your fucking eye in, Lou! Now concentrate. Shut up a second. You Dominicans is meant to be athletes. Bend the knees, it's all the knees. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Who ain't playing ball then? Give it up! All right, all right. The other family's got libel in their pocket. The foreman on Columbus cites their boy. Okay, so far. Fuck you, all right? Fuck you, there ain't nothing else. Why is he moving it? Damned if I know. Don't Rocco have someone else to hit the batting cage for him? You've met the guy, haven't you? I can't imagine he's got too many friends. <laughs> yes! You and I both know that ain't it. Shit! Jack Duffy's that guy with the Transport Workers Union. Okay! So you got those two guys. Let me go! There he goes again. Where'd you learn to play golf, Lou? Right here, right now. Needs must, don't. To be honest, I never fancied the game. I find the clothes you have to wear kind of unflattering. Breathe, Lou. Remember to breathe. Oh! Ah! Wabba boom There's got to be someone higher up. Give them to me! This is way over your head, dickwads! The head of the LTA is with the Messinas. You can't do nothing! Any moment now, my protection's gonna show, and you guys are screwed! We're gonna do something about that. Shit! Give me a fucking hand here! I guess we gotta go help Rocco.
on, put some distance behind us. Don't worry, El. I ain't gonna chicken out on you like I did in Chinatown. I just love your new friends. Fucking fantastic guys. Thanks, Lou. Sweet of you to say so. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yo, Rocco, you piece of shit. What you got us into? Shut up, Lou! He didn't mean anything by it. Assholes! How do we get into this situation? Running away from monsters in a motherfucking golf cart? I think you got us here, T. Thanks for that. Death with dignity. Nice. That was a pleasant outing, Rock. Where's that purse with you know what? We square? Square? What you borrowed? At those points? You ain't even making a dent on the interest. Besides, I'm about to have to do all the messy work on this guy myself. No, but I, I, I told you shit. I told you everything. I'll see you girls later. Jesus! Come on, let's head back to the apartment. Hey, you know, I'm really warming to that guy. Like a back case of crabs. Crabs are easy to get rid of. Believe me on that one. Thank you for sharing. We're business partners. We share everything. The emphasis is on business, bro. You can keep your crabs to yourself. Sorry, man, but I really got us in the shit here, Luis. Tony, man, you gotta calm down. You're really pushing me. Yeah, well, if you weren't out chasing tail, and this was a two-man operation like it should be, then maybe things will be holding together better. Oh. I'm getting blamed for this now? Oh, of course. Whenever I come to the clubs, you ask me to run off on some stupid error like a chump. You don't ever let me into the serious shit. And you do deals without even telling me. Until it comes time to protect your ass from whoever you got your fatwa of the day all from. All right, all right. Maybe I've taken you for granted. I'll change. I'll be better. Yeah, thank you. But I don't believe it. Here we are, bro. Rest up, okay? Listen, Lou, would you mind paying Maury a visit? He says he needs help with something. I know he's a bit of a schmuck, but we owe the man money, and I don't want him anywhere near the clubs. I feel you there, T. That guy is a social atom bomb. I'll go see him. Go. Luis, what's gotten into you? Why haven't you been helping out at the clubs? You serious, man? I've been running around the city getting shot at by assholes, doing hit for assholes, hanging out with assholes so we can keep these places running. What else you expect me to be doing? Standards have slipped, Lou. We're dead without this revenue stream. Just keep an eye on things, okay? Desi's at Mason at every night. Just talk to him, and he'll explain everything. Okay, T. Put your feet up. Relax. Enjoy yourself. Wonderful chat, just it's me. Ah, oh, hello, baby. Hola, mami, ¿cómo está? Hi, hi. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Ay, Dios mío, mami, pero qué es esto? You're always taking care of the down and outs. Hey. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, but you got to let them into the house. Aw. Mm -hmm. These are my boys, baby, just like you. Uh, <laughs> I watch them grow up. Yeah, well, apparently your boys and your real son got some work to do. So, ladies, we got to roll. Uh, Come on, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Mrs. L, you're still the best cook I know. Mm, mm, mm. Here you go, mommy. Take this, okay? Take care. I gotta go. Take okay? care. You take care, son. Dealing drugs, people getting killed, nightclubs. You take care. Go to school. Be, go somewhere. It's not too late, my baby. I mean, but you got it all wrong. I mean, it's not like that anymore, you know? I, I know good people, I know bad people, you know? But I know the difference. I mean, I know I made mistakes, but things are better now. I mean, how many times we got to go over this? If things are better now, then why are you always like this? Right, but you take the money, right? You take the fucking money every time. Get out of my house. Right. What choice do I have? I lost my job. Yeah, well, call one of your other kids, the one you ain't ashamed of. Are we?
Hurry it up. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Yo, we heading to the docks in Bohan. Yo, man, you gotta let up on your mom. Oh, yeah, te oigo. But, bro, she rides me too hard, man. Hanging downtown made you forget who you is, El. What you mean? I mean, you a fucking Dominican. All Dominican mamas ride their e hoes like that. You think me and Rika don't get shit too? <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Enrique's mama wants his ass to go to college someday. Fool couldn't even spell SAT, let alone GED. I doubt he could even spell ABC. Only thing I can spell is D V D A. <laughs> Your sister taught me that. <laughs> yeah, I funny. believe it, bro. She was always a save the world, special needs helping type girl. Special needs to jump on my dick. You boys gonna tell me what's happening here? Let's earn some money. They're bringing the stuff in off that boat. We gonna bring it up here to get in these cars. Then all we gotta do is get them back to the heights. Easy peasy. I got these cats. H, take Luis and watch the guys by the boat. Oh yeah, me pana. This looks like a serious amount of shit coming in. You think we'd be in for some serious time if 5-0 catches with this? Yeah, bro. Or a serious amount of heat if some stick-up guys hear what's going down.
Thanks for your help, bro. Yeah, I guess my shooting was more important than my man management skills on this business trip. For real, we gonna get paid, bro. Give us a call, okay? Yeah, dude. Let's hang. Hello? 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 Hey, man! Hey, nigga! What's up? What's up? So glad you could make it, man. Seriously. Fucking A! You know, for real, man. Yep. You, you okay, bro? No, I'm fine, man. I got a couple of bitches upstairs. Hot ones, not cheap. Nice. Hey, man. You wanna join in? No, I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, to be honest, anyway, after I finish with them, they'll be out of commission anyway. I'll bang them to pieces. After I finish with them, they look like they've been dragged through the fucking desert. <laughs> oh, wow, good for you, man, good for you. Listen, so um, what do you want? <sighs> you see this city? I own it. Everything. Seriously. Really? No. But one day. I'm building 60 skyscrapers, man. Condos, penthouses, luxury apartments. Serious shit. But I tell you, oh, man. Oh, I love this. I'm the real deal, nigga. I'm the real fang. Sure, bro, sure. So what do you say? You gonna help me out? Tony says you can handle yourself. Maybe, man. What do you need? I need to shut my fucking father up. Whoa, I ain't killing your father, bro. No, I know you're not. I needed to get a helicopter for him. You know? And I found it. It's a military issue. Beautiful machine. Sexy. The company that built it, they have a display model on their boat. And that will shut him up. You know, show him I've got good connections, you know, and uh, pay him the respect he deserves. Is that porn playing up there, bro? <laughs> no, man. That's real women. Trust me. And I ain't paid shit. Okay, so you want me to get you a helicopter, and that'll make your dad happy. Mm. You better be the real deal, man. <laughs> you know, I tell Tony that we work together, huh? I'm going to make you both very rich men. We'll open up nightclubs all around the world. China, Pakistan, Timbuk fucking too, anywhere you want. <sighs> but you know what this means? You and I, we are brothers, we're partners. Okay. Give me a call when you get there. Now I've got to attend to some business. Ladies! Prepare to suffer! Awwahi! We call this little baby the Buzzard. She will pick the bones of your enemies clean. He's taking the chopper. This ain't like any other chopper I flow. I got it. All right, homie. Now, the guys you took it from have some inappropriate individuals. These are some carousel, war, the criminal enabling motherfuckers, motherfucker. The real deal. Take out the boat with all the guys on board. Bro, you sure? It's the right thing to do, my brother. Fucking go for it. Stop me!
Where are you off to? How I get my... Listen to me on this. You tell him I don't care. A, bi a billion dollars is chump change. What does a billion dollars buy anyway today? Doesn't even buy a million dollars. No, you tell him that. You tell him Yusuf Amir is speaking. That name does mean something in this town. One second, hello, excuse me. Hello? Hello, who is this? Papa! Oh, Papa, how are you? Yes, Papa, yeah, it's a present. It's a gift. Oh, no, you didn't pay for it. I did. Well, I didn't pay for it, so you didn't. P Papa, it's, 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 it's complicated. I miss you, Papa. I do. Yes, I'm close to closing the deal. The biggest tower. You're going to be so proud of me. Well, ten million dollars is maybe a little bit too much to spend in a month, but you know, it was necessary. No, Papa, no, no, that's not fair. No, 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 that... Papa, they're not prostitutes. <laughs> they're loose women. Papa, Papa, hello, Papa. <laughs> hey, it's you, my friend. How you doing? How hey. you doing? What's up, Papa? Trouble with your old man? <sighs> no, it's my father. Uh, okay, yeah, family can be tough, man. Oh, he's a very conservative man. He doesn't understand what I'm doing here. He thinks my life is one long party. <sighs> A reckless orgy of sex, drugs, and spending. <laughs> really? He's deluded. I think I work my fingers to the bone. To the bone! You know, last week, I got exhausted test driving sexy cars. I had to fly to Vice City and bang bitches for two weeks just to recover. I'm a workaholic, man. A workaholic, homie. Yeah, evidently. And now I have to meet Ahmed and his brother to take a business meeting and... I, mean, I love those guys, they're like family, but, oh, God, it's going to exhaust me. How's that? These guys, they're always going on about how rich they are. Look, the money here, the money there. You know what they are, Luis? I'll level with you. They're very, um, what's the word? Um, tacky. No taste. I mean, I love those guys, but seriously, come on. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll see you later then. No, 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 no. Hey, you're coming with me, baby. You need to hang around. You gotta act like we're friends. Shit, we are friends, baby. Make out that we got shit going down. Going down, my niggas. Anyway, 
<clears throat> let's go. Let's bounce, baby. When I say bounce, I don't mean bouncing literally. I just mean... I, I know what it means, Yusuf. It's a term I, from the street, meaning you have to walk. <clears throat> but if you don't get that, it's a bit like uh, rolling. You have to roll me. You're not, not like a fat man rolling. It means can, actually can just, just Head over to Rotterdam Tower, me brethren. In 800 yards. I have a special gift, Luis. An auto shotgun with explosive shells. Here's hoping I don't need to use this shit. Excuse me a moment, please. I have to call Ahmed. Make sure it's all cool and safe and that. Yo, Eira, what's up? Tell those bitches at Rotterdam that theirs ain't gonna be the tallest tower for long. Yusuf's in town, baby. And your shit about to be inadequate. Yeah, shit, I'm coming, man. Chill the F out. What are you so head up about? Papa ain't in town, is he? Oh, thank goodness. If it's not Papa, I can't think why you are so agitated. Calm down, will you? Well, I'll see you in a moment. I don't have a good feeling about this. Ahmed is not himself. Very fucking weird. I appreciate this, Luis. Hit me up when you're sure shit with them boys is cool. So long. Okay, bro. I'll head on up there for you. I made. <laughs> Lewis, my man. Where's Yusuf? What's going on, bro? What do you mean, what's going on? Chill, homeboy. <laughs> Look at the real estate. The Enjoy. Fuck is Yusuf. You said he'd be here. Yo, what's wrong with you, man? Yo, what's going on? He knows. He fucking knows we're in the shit. What do I know? I, I, I thought it's chill, man. Uh, shit! Uh, Tell no. me what uh, I just walked into. Shit! Shit! Tell shit, me! I, Please, what are you doing? I'm sorry! Don't! Shh! Fuck you! No! If I see another tourist today, I'll cue! Tahir did, and I met soon after. Oh, whatever do you mean? Dude took a dive down to sea level, bro. Motherfucker set you up with a noose so they could take your business. I cannot believe it. They were brothers to me. I, I, I would have brought them anything they wanted. Sometimes, bro, money ain't enough. I have a deep sadness in me, Luis. Will you join me, please? For an orgy of champagne, cocaine, women, watermelons, and whatever else this city may have to offer. We must forget them. You're gonna have to do the forgetting by yourself, man. I got a lot of other business to deal with. I'll see you around, man, okay? Hey, Tom, what's happening, boss? You're out of here. I have a deal behind my back. I've been trying to make us some money. Yeah. You have anything to do with a little boating accident that went down and it's all over the news? Hey, I don't even like swimming. Good. Oh, because shit, the oh, on shit, that oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Freedom fighters trying to stop people smuggling in Asia. <laughs> really? I heard there was. I don't shit, care. I. I heard no. I'm shitting with you. They were armed smugglers, pitched to some of the worst governments in West Africa. But I had you. I fucking had you. You fucking idiot, Luis. Don't turn into a freedom fighter. We don't have the luxury of that right now. And stop going solo on me. Not now. I wasn't involved, T. 
course not. But if I had been, it would have been for us, for the business. Sure. You be careful, Luis. Hey, Luis, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Troy? Tony inside? No, he's not here yet. Uh, did you talk to him? Who? Tony, about me. What about you? About me working here, man. I can't do it no more. I ain't queer, and it's doing my head in. Bro, you work for a guy whose nickname since 1985 is Gay Tony. Why do you give a fuck? Because I want to be married, man. You know, I want to have a nice life. I want to picket fence in Alderney. I want to raise kids, play ball, you know? And look at me. Bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. Desi's the man of Mason, okay? This is the job we got for you. If you don't like it, fuck off, I guess. If you do, shut the fuck up and stop being a moron. Don't be like that, man. You know me. I'm an artist. I've got songs in me. Hello? Maybe if Tony could hear me sing, yeah, thanks. I, 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 I'd yeah. be okay here. It's me. You're the fucking doorman, bro, not the cabaret. What's wrong with you? You're real tense, man. And you used to be cool. Hey, Troy! Hey, how's business? Luis, come on, let's go. Uh, pretty quiet. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Don't you know a good time when you see one? Jesus! When even the queens don't want to get wrecked, you know this city is turning into a fucking suburb! All right, Luis, get in the car. Gracie, sweetheart, in the back. Tony, can I have a word? No! No. Let's go. Luis, hey babe, how are you? Hey, yo, Gracie, what's up? Tone, what the fuck is it with Louise? I mean, he'll try to bang anything with a pussy, but it's Mr. Limp Dick when I'm around. I don't know. Maybe it's your charming turn of phrase, or your demure, almost nun-like manner. What is up with that, Louise? Sorry, Gracie. You're in my type. So can you let me be a Limp Dick in peace? Having a pussy is your type, Lou. Tell me what's wrong with you. There ain't nothing wrong with you. If you like really loud guidettes. Louise, fuck you. Hey, look. I stopped dealing with monster brats after Danny Lucasella tried to get her daddy to cut my balls off. Call me an asshole, but that was it for me. I know where you're coming from. The shit I got into after my night of indiscretion with Roy Zeal. Oh, trying to claim my strength is drink. Roy Z's a homo? He ain't a very good one. I never would have guessed it. Yeah, well, they don't wear a label on their head. Oh, look at this bitch behind the wheel. Tony, your extreme queeniness is starting to rub off on the employees. Look, Gornio, go. What are we doing out of Gracie's house? We're paying a visit. Shit, don't we got other problems right now? Come on. Now that you mention it, there is another issue. That fucking nebbish, the celebinator. Oh my god, I just love that guy's blog. Well, that guy's blog don't love us. What happened? He's talking shit like it's going out of fashion. So what? Thinks he's the only guy with a mouth on the fucking internet? This is something we don't need right now. Oh, no one comes to our summer party in the caraways. Chill out, bro. First of all, the summer's a long way off. And second, we shouldn't be having no party in the caraways with our financial situation. This guy could sink us. Listen to him, Lou. The Celebinator is real influential. Relax, bro. We'll send them a basket. It'll be cool. It's fucking blackmail with these guys. He got left off a list somewhere, so it's our livelihoods at stake. Yo, all right. I'll check him out. What's his site? I'll send you a link. Will you drop us off and go do it now? But that means Louise won't be able to see the inside of my place. Oh, well, in that case, I'll definitely do it now. Shit, Lou. Another time. Oh, yeah, sure, babe. Some other time. Thanks, Louise. Call me when you've emailed that dreadful blogger. Get you a smoke a lot of latte. Song. Luis, how'd you like his sight? Yeah, I can't believe people read that shit. No wonder we didn't let that buck tooth bastard in. But you smoothed him, didn't you? I was my most charming digital self. Like one of them internet vigilantes pretending to be 12. Thanks, El. Let's see where it goes.
What's your problem, man? Where's Tony? <laughs> Where's Tony? Where's Tony? What's wrong with, hi, Evan, you're looking cut. Hi, Evan, like a drink? Hi, Evan, if I wasn't straight, I'd ravage you right now. Evan, where's Tony? He sent me to him here. <sighs> Who cares about fucking Tony? The man's a neurotic. He's back on drugs, he's looking old, he refuses to get any work done, and <laughs> P.S., the man's a wreck. Then break up with him for the last time and fuck off out of all of our lives, please. <laughs> wow, somebody's got his sister's underwear on by mistake. Ay, Dios mío. Evan, look. I always thought that even for a coke bush and steroid junkie, you were a particular asshole. Okay, I'm just gonna admit that. Now, would you shut the fuck up before I shut you up? Now, where's Tony? He's in the bedroom. <sighs> ah. Hey, Tony, get up. Ah, piss off. Come on, get up, man. Let's go. <clears throat> ah, piss off. I want to die. Okay, man, if that's how you want it. Yeah, come on. Ah. Come on. Let's go. Better? Yo, oh, great. Come on, Bobby. Let's go. This way. This way. What? Come on. Oh, come on, fuck this. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, you said we had something to take care of. I ain't having you screw up. I should've let your parole officer put you back in prison all those years ago. You're a degenerate. Uh, what about me? You guys can't just leave me here. Uh, yeah, good point. Uh, uh, fuck off, Evan. You getting the pills. Be gone before I get back. Let's go, baby. Come on, you got it. Let's go. Uh, uh, I'm good. You fucking hetero! Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I, I forgot something. Forgot what? The, the, the explosives. Explosives? Explosives? Yo, what's wrong with you, man? You want a nightclub, not a terror cell. Ow, Rocco's gone nuts. He's gonna burn the clubs down for insurance. He's gonna fucking kill us. Yeah, he's gone crazy, and you're running around with some bombs, okay? What kind of drugs do you want? I hope they're strong. I told him I'd take care of his union problems for him. It, it's, uh, it's the only way out. Either that or they kill me. Yeah, I wish you'd talk to me about this first, man, okay? Blowing shit up ain't exactly your side of the business, okay? It's not your forte. What do you care about the business? You got your, your fucking head in the clouds, huh? You think you're a big shot. You're a nothing, and soon you're gonna be a dead nothing. Yeah, no doubt, boss. Now where are you going? I think I got a guy digging up Frankfurt Avenue for Liberty Electric. Okay, what else? And the, the, the transport workers guy is uh, driving an out-of-service subway train through North Holland. I meant to take the whole thing out. A subway train? Jesus Christ, please tell me that's it. Now, the head of the LTA is out of France International in his private jet. Man, you'll probably blow yourself up as soon as you walk out the door. You ain't doing this. I got to. It's the only way you can survive. Get out of my way. I'm sorry, as much as I'd like to right now, I'm not letting you kill yourself. Try and stop me, huh? Okay. Go! Oh, oh. <clears throat> Shit, Tony. You're a real piece of fucking work, you know that? off today. Hey, Tom. Was knocking me out really necessary? 
Well, you're gonna let me take care of this explosive bullshit, or are you gonna insist on blowing yourself up? I got it, Mr. Man. Exactly, man. Thank you, partner. You should know that Evans walked out on me. We're over. Yeah, I heard that before, T. If it's real this time, it's a good thing. He's dragging you down, man. He's a fucking parasite. You need to concentrate on getting your own life together. See you soon. Oh, hey, Lou! It's Luis. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Come here, give me some love right here. <laughs> so what'd you want? Tony said you needed a favor. What, I look like a charity case to you? Can I plead the fifth on that one? Ah, oh, that's, that's funny. You're funny. Yeah, you're fucking funny. Funny for a guy with all those pecs. She got the lats of a little girl, and man, you need calf implants. <laughs> look at you. And, you know, I'm guessing just, just from looking at you, you ain't exactly packing a 10-inch hose, man. Me? <laughs> I make girls wince. Ah, uh, wince. <laughs> Just to level with you for a minute, bro. Tony owes you money. Tony's my boss and my friend. So I'll help you out a little. But if you mention my host again, I'll put you in the fucking ground. Jesus Christ, man. You pent up. <laughs> Come on, I didn't mean anything by it. I apologize. All right, look, let's rewind. We'll restart. We'll relax. Huh? Give me a page one. Give me a hug. Huh? Give me a hug. <laughs> That's it. Now, where were we? Oh, well, if it isn't my brother the ghost. Maury, what are you doing here, bro? And who's this guy? It's Lou. It's Luis. Right. Well, it's nice to see you too, little brother. Jesus, you look pale. What, somebody die? Unfortunately not, man. What are you doing here, Maury? I am thinking about moving back home. Uh, you see, I've been hearing some stories about you getting somewhat uh, above yourself. And I'm worried about you. Well, don't, don't worry about me, man. I'm fine, okay? I'm gonna be just fucking fine. Jesus, who is training you? Man ought to be horsewhipped. Look at you. You, 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 lumpy. Oh, you look like awful, like a, a big pale mess. And you're fat, bro. <laughs> you're fat. <laughs> Screw you, Maury, man. You're. You're, 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 you're perfect? Yeah. <laughs> Chiseled, tan, handsome. I'm the dream ticket. Yeah, Mom always warned me that you were a lazy kid. I bet you've been juicing. Of course I haven't. Let me do. Ugh. No, no, no. Yeah, I smell it on you. Fear. <laughs> but I'm back now, baby B. I'm b b b b b b back. Oh. And your life just got fun again. <laughs> Come on, Lou. Let's roll. Oh, and uh, fat boy, you better let your friends know about me. Because kibbutz number one is <sighs> back in town. And this time, dun 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 See ya, wouldn't want to be ya, fag. <laughs> We're meeting some cats up on Chase Point. Oh. What you need done, Maury? Oh, we got some very intense shit to handle. Yeah, I'm hoping you mean you got some boxes to move, something like that. That's about as intense as I'm willing to get for you. Wow, it's incredible. He looks like a man, but he talks like a pussy. Maury, man, you're a business guy, so you should stick to your business shit. Don't get involved in stuff that's out of your league because of some small man syndrome that makes you overcompensate. Whoa, whoa, there's nothing small about what I got going on, Lopez. Do you need me to take out the monster? I'll whap that shit on a dashboard and see what you think of it. Yo, yo, you'll think it suddenly got dark in here. I'm talking serious block the sun shit. Oh, ah, they just don't hold me responsible for your inadequacy issues after that. Uh, oh. oh, don't take nothing out, bro. Keep it to yourself. Keep the monster away from me. And listen to what I'm saying. This shit comes from the heart, okay? I don't want to see you getting in over your head. For a man of your height, it's gotta be easy to do. Whoa, whoa, slow up, dog. I think you're mistaken in your impression of me. I look like a civilian to you. You look like a lot of things, bro. A lot of neurosis in one tiny package. Kind of like an army knife without the edge. You think because of my lumpy little brother that I don't swing on the dark side? Hey, I never said you weren't a swinger, man. Come to think of it, you might have seen you on one of them websites. 
All right, enough with the jokes. Look, I done three years Israeli military. I seen shit you wouldn't even believe. Yeah, I done three years helping to run Hercules. I seen shit you wouldn't believe. Hey, how many guys got the juice to get into some foreign legion shit when they're 18? You were probably still sucking on your mama's titty at that age. I was doing time, bro. And leave my mama out of it. Things I saw over there were insane, dog. Insane! I'd tell you about it, but then I'd have to kill you right here. I could do it, too, with my bare hands. Wouldn't even think twice about it. But I won't, Lou. I won't, because I like you. Eh, special forces don't even begin to describe my shit. Special sounds about right to me. Look, I came back here after the service, and I changed, man. I changed. You think it's easy sitting down at Econ 101 when you've been icing fools? I wouldn't know, bro. Still got my 4.0, though, didn't I? Oh, give it up, right here. Yeah, good for you, bro. You want to send me a resume so we can skip all this personal history crap? No, I want you to understand, Luis, that I got the brain and the brawn, the meat and potatoes. MBA plus IDF equals do not fuck with this bitch. I got it all, brother. I can handle anything. Yeah, OK, fine, whatever. Remind me what we're doing now? We are paying a visit to some of my old uh, business associates. We're going to take over their operation. Clear those fucks out. Perfect. Just perfect. Another fucking war. Fuck yeah! Calculating route. Hey, you! Oh, what the fuck are you doing here, Maury? Oi vey, motherfucker! Dude, we told you we ain't in business with you no more. You're a ripoff merchant. <laughs> no more cooperation, my friends. It's hostile takeover time. Hand it over. Fuck you, Maury, you midget prick. You ripped us off for the last time. Let's get these fuckers! about you, Lou. Real fucking bullish. Good to know. Hey, you come by soon. We got some more shit to discuss. <clears throat> hey, Lou, come on in. Hang on one second. Check mate. See ya! <laughs> Little thicko never went to college. I never got into an Ivy League school. I got into two! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Turn. So, I got a proposition for you, Louie. It's Louise, bro. It'll be little Louise if I want it to be. You still owe me money, so you're still my bitch. Man, Tony, you 
blow me, bro. Making me hang out with this jackass. Now listen to me. I got a wager. I ain't having no monster measuring contest, bro. I keep telling you I ain't into that creepy shit. No! My jackhammer would crush the shit out of you, bitch! No, 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 no. I'm talking a fair bet. Calculated risk. What's on the line, then? You terrifyingly insecure midget? Well, how about everything Tony owes me? And I promise to get out of your life if you win. Yeah, that sounds too good to be true, bro. What happens if I lose? I get everything. You're rolling with me full time, hombre. Buddies for life. All or nothing, eh? Heavenly peace or a lifetime of being tortured by some hellish imp. Shit is tough. Calculated risk. What are you gonna do? Okay. So what are we betting on? It's a race, you fucking pussy. All around the city. Only for serious high rolling cats. Choppers, boats, cars, and then everything in between. So all I gotta do is win that? And you out of our lives? In theory, yes. But that ain't gonna happen, dog. Cause I never lost a nothing in my old life. Maybe that's because I had a brother as pathetic as little B. Or maybe it is because I am the S-H-I-T, bitch. Yeah, you shit, all right. Now, if you do win, which you won't, you just gotta help me with one more thing, and then all your contractual obligations are released. Hey, here's to that. Luis, you're gonna get your ass handed to you, you bitch. Hey, we gonna give a head start to those under four feet? You have all been provided! Parachutes, boats, and cars! You will be airlifted to the start where you will race from one vehicle to the next. The first person to make it to the finish in middle park is the winner. Are you ready? Fuck yeah! Hey, I'm racing an orange midget. Why wouldn't I be ready? Three, two, one, go! Man, that's gotta be an expensive race for you. Bullshit, man. Someone must have sabotaged me or something. No, shit, no, I wanted to lose. You think Tony's cash means shit to me? I got other investments. Yeah, good for you, Tiny. So, um, do we gotta see each other again? I told you, Louie, one more job. I got some cars to procure and you're gonna help me. Come by Brucey's and we'll hit it. Yeah, all right, bro. I gave my word. That's what I told him. Hey, I'm all good, baby. How you doing, ID? Hey, Desi. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Tony in? Uh, yeah, he got it a while ago. Joy and I. Please, after you. Wow. I did. Okay, good evening, my friend. How are you? See, it's me. Yeah, you okay? So I'm good? I'm good? Yes, <laughs> okay. Ladies, how'd you do? You're late. Sorry, man. Something came up. No doubt. What's going on? I'm trying to figure a way out of this shit. I got a plan to keep that pair of chumps, Rocco and Vince, happy. Come on, I'll explain as we go. Oh, whoa, 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 just a, just a quick hello, quick hello. Gentlemen, my name's Tony Prince. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Ray Bulgarian. Tell me, where are the women? <laughs> well, they're, they're everywhere. It's, uh, that one over there's a TV starlet. That one there is a model. And that one uh, there, I don't know, but I believe she just signed on with the Derriere campaign. How much? The fuck I mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not hookers. This is not that kind of club. Everywhere is that kind of club. You just need to know how much to pay. 
Yeah, well, listen, uh, can I buy you a gentleman a drink? Cindy! Cindy, come here. Take care of Mr. Bulger in here. It's good to meet you. Please come back. Enjoy your night. My uh, right-hand man, Luis, will take care of you. Good night. Thank you. So, gentlemen, more drinks? Yes, please. Let's go. So, how's it going, gentlemen? The faggot is your boss. Sure. Must make for funny times at Bolestan. Hysterical, hysterical. Where does the coal come from in this place? I don't know about that shit, man. I just make sure people don't get killed. How very boring. I prefer it when they do. You should come back on a busier night, then. Normally, it's wall-to-wall -wall corpses by midnight. You, I like Target, not so much. Hey, uh, gentlemen, thank you. Uh, Luis, we gotta go. Good night. Gentlemen. Jesus, Russia, richer than the church. Buy this place, end all our troubles. Yeah, nothing like Russian gangsters to bring a sense of peace and stability to a problem. Now, Mama's is more rock with style than our place. Tell me he's gonna start hanging out with all that bridge and tunnel crowd rather than us. Don't we wish? No, sadly, he just wants you to talk to a lady in there. Yo, T, I ain't heard of no lady for Rocco. They just want you to hit on her. She's an old friend of yours, Monique, from the Derriere store in Suffolk. Monique? Shit. After that thing with her roommate, I don't think that's gonna fly. What they want me hitting on girls for? They want you to get at her boyfriend. He owns the place, but he's in Venturis now. So I'm some fucking gigolo now? Perfect. I never seen you complain about chasing women before. Well, I've never been forced to chase them before. Do what you do best, partner. You ain't coming? You think having a past old queen on your arm is some kind of aphrodisiac? Just try and forget it's a job. The day has finally come, T. You've become my pimp, and I finally lost my self-respect. Later, bro. Hopefully it'll work. I apologize, but we're fully booked at the moment. I don't know about you, I feel fucking mad. Oh, baby, take it easy on me, okay? I had a long day. I'm gonna make you forget <laughs> all about that. Mm, I bet you. Mm. Hey, hey, yo, shit! I think Serge wanted to see you outside. He said he's got the night off. Come on. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. I mean, get the fuck out of my way. You whore! I paid for those fucking lips, and this is how you repay me? Oh, hold on, I can explain. Uh, yeah. Hold on! <laughs> Yo, that's not cool, bro. You put your cock in my woman's mouth, and you think it's cool? Asshole. Hey! I bet that slimy prick had this plan. Fuck! Get down or you get shot! Get 
Luis! You got Rocco there with your team? Is he there? What's got into you? Why are you so moody, Luis? You should talk to someone. Yeah, I get moody after I'm nearly killed, Tony. And that's happening a lot right now. Fuck! Monique's boyfriend wasn't a Venturis. The whole fucking club got shot to shit! Okay, I see why you're upset. Get some rest and we'll talk soon. You're keeping us afloat here, Luis. Not even. Oh, oh look who it is! Jesus, in. you could knock or something. I mean, my heart is beating 200 beats a minute. You almost put me in the hospital. <laughs> this is good blow. Here, give me some. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Listen, Gracie, tell your father. Tell him. Tell him you've been selling me coke. He will love that. No, 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 no. I don't mean that. I mean, tell him, tell him I'm okay. You know, tell him I'm on the up. Yeah, tell him if he needs a good fake tan or some hair gel, Rocco can hook him up. Oh, fuck off, Luis. Try it, bro. I'll happily do more time for you. Oh, Luis, you always gotta act so tough. Just have a fucking line and chill out like me. You people. Luis is always such a buzzkill. <laughs> We're meant to be oh having God. fun here. <laughs> I'm having fun. I am. <laughs> Where's my fucking phone? This Coke is kind of speedy, Rock. Where's Tony? He went out. You better not be spiking me with speed, Rocco. I will be so angry. Where I... did he go? Who? What is wrong with you, man? You are ruining my bus, Luis. Tony, where's Tony? He is over there. Oh, yeah, he passed out again. Guy's a fucking mess, Luis, holding you back. He holds everyone back. Oh, he doesn't. Get up. No. Come on, yeah. get up. Get up, you has been no good 1980s throwback <laughs> relapse junkie fan! What's wrong with you, Tony? Get Damn. up, baby! Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, more shots! <laughs> oh, 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 hey, hey, hey! What guys? What's, what's, what's going on? You tell me, boss. What's going on? What? Huh? Why'd you call? Uh, I don't know. Because of that thing, T? Come on, that sparkly thing. Wake up, you junky fag. All oh, right, right. That thing. That shit. Right, that thing. Okay. All right, Luis. Uh, all right, we gotta go. All right, ladies, uh, have some fun. Uh, try to keep your septums all in one piece, huh? Uh, oh, ah, Jesus, man. Yeah. I feel like a camel shat in my mouth. Oh, well, at the end, it wasn't fun. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again, not again. No, 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 no. Oh, Hold oh. on, guys. I want to come, too. Fuck off, Evan. This is work. It's not working out. <laughs> Whatever. Bitch. Come on. <laughs> so anyway, 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 Sharon, I think I'm gonna sell my car. Oh my god, that is so funny! <laughs> Wait, what's so funny about that? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> For these limos, so we're gonna take them. I'll go with the driver and try to rebuild my psyche. Luis, you take Evan. Thanks a lot, though. East hook, please, driver. What exactly are we doing, man? Listen, Luis, no offense, but I don't know how much I'm allowed to tell you. What you mean, Evan? Tell me everything you know. Really? I mean, how much information are you privy to? You're just the fucking driver, after all. Yeah, I'm privy enough to know that you're a piece of shit who's using Tony and you're only gonna be hanging around for two to three months before Tony moves on to another chump. I'm privy to the fact that the coke in your nose and the roids in your veins are gonna send you worse out of control real soon. I'm also privy to the fact that you're gonna be some what fat trailer park queen back in the Midwest before you hit 30. Now tell me what the fuck we doing right now! <sighs> that attitude's not gonna get you anywhere, sweetie. You better say something nice to me. Tell me what's fucking happening. If you say something nice, I'll think about it. You can get Tony fucked up like no one else can, Evan. That nice enough? Aw, uh, sweet. Thank you, Luis. Tony is more fun when I'm around. What do you want to know? What are we doing going to the docks in Isu? We're buying diamonds. Two million dollars worth. Ay, Dios mío. Where did Tony get that kind of cash, bro? You don't know everything, do you, Luis? Yeah, I know that money can't be his unless he borrowed it. Where's it from? How the fuck should I know? I'm the looks, not the accountant. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You just snort the money. You don't know where it comes from. The money could be Brocco's, it could be Gracie's, who cares? We're getting some ice, baby. Yeah, I don't like the sound of this, bro. See what I mean? Always so serious. Don't worry for once. Tony skimmed 10% off the agreed amount, so we'll have some spending money. Whoop, whoop! Gonna hit the shops today, baby! Yeah, even fucking better, bro. Even better. You have a bitch! Hey, uh, what's going on? Hey, uh, well, right, what's, uh, which one is Mr. Tony? That would be me. All right, you got what we're looking for? You got the money? Sure, right here. Then, then I'll get the ice. Hold on. 
How you feel about this, bro? I think I need another fucking line, okay? It serves me right for leaving the party with you losers. Shut up, idiot. Tony, we cool? Ugh. Let's just get this over with. My head is killing me. My life has been reduced to this bullshit. So no, Luis, we are a long way from cool. But for right now, let's just see what the chef has to say for himself. Yeah, that's what I think. I agree. Ay, cállate, por favor. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, all right. This is them. Mm, mm, mm. These are great. Mm, they're great. But uh, two million. You had your head in the oven. Mr. Tony, I have what they tell you, perfect clarity, beautiful clarity, well cut, and a shitload of carrots. What do you expect? <gasps> Tony, they're gorgeous. Mm, just like you. <laughs> hey, come on, can we do a handover, please, and get out of here? This is too much. No. Ignore him. He's probably been up all night with some bimbo. Tony. <laughs> You're a chef. Well, go. Yeah. I have a line on some kitchen supplies. How about I throw that into the equation? What's the price? Look. Here's the money we agreed upon less 10%. Just give us the ice. All right, all right. Hey. Tony, can I hold them? Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks. <coughs> oh, shit, Tony, oh. we out of here. Come on, let's go. Kevin, take him to the club. And don't fuck about, OK? Come on. some social networking site when a couple of dozen irate bikers are trying to kill him, bro. No one's that vain. Not even him. 10 men 89 bleeding less than 10 minutes ago. I can't believe it, man. What's it say? Cornered by bikers? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Too young to die? They fucking got him. Jesus. Poor bastard. I know. Fuck. Poor Evan. He was a rotten human being. That's why I liked him so much. That fuck got himself killed. And a diamond stolen, I might add, because he needed to tell the internet about his problem. Or you, I can speak ill of him as much as I fucking want. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. All right, it was a weird move, I'll give you that. But he's dead, killed by social networking. He may have cheated on me and stolen from me and put his plastic surgery on the business credit card, but I like the guy and I'm kind of sad, okay? Well, I didn't like him. He's dead and he's still pissing me off. We just lost two million on those diamonds. Calm down, Luis. You think your boyfriend had just been killed? You really think Evan's dead? I'm sure of it. He bleated, didn't he? I'm sorry, bro. Those diamonds are gone too, Lou. We're really in this shit now. We got no more cards to play. What the fuck is going to go wrong next? Stay cool, and don't get too fucked up on those pills. Or that, Charlie. Or any fucking new shit. Hey, Evan ripped you off and he didn't get away with it. Look at it like that. I'll come see you soon. Sure, whatever. So long, stranger. You have arrived. Fuck! 
D, bro, what's happening? I've organized that face to face with our good friend, the Celebinator. Oh, shit. We're gonna show him a good time? Yeah, I thought we could persuade him that we're not such bad guys after all. He's meeting us at the heliport on the West River. We're taking him out on a tour of the city. I wouldn't miss this. See you there, T. All aboard, Lou. Here's that shoot you wanted. You really gotta get over that fear of flying. Okay, man. Whatever you say. I thought we'd start over the Statue of Happiness. Take us up! Luis, meet our new friend, the Celebinator. Place to make your acquaintance. Yo, do you got like a real name? Or do I gotta call you the what's it? This is a gay I wear in public. I'd prefer it if you called me the Celebinator. Okay. It's a lovely helicopter you've got here, Tony. I'd love to say this was mine, but I'm just borrowing it off a rich friend of mine, Mr. Yusef Amir. He let us use it because it's such a special occasion. This is a very grown-up gesture of yours. I thought it'd be just tit for tat from here on in. What you mean tit for tat? You just started insulting us on your website. We ain't done shit to you. I'm not naive, Louis. The Derrier launch, Mason, it's fifth birthday. He left me off the list. It was a deliberate snob. What you talking about, man? We never... Show our friend the sights, L. I'll take the controls. You really don't have to show me anything. I vlogged every inch of this town. You know what? I don't think you've ever seen Liberty City like this. What's he doing, Tony? Help! You pick up, you <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> Are you locking your door, bitch? Who the big man now, huh? You come back <laughs> here. Be careful up <laughs> here, bitch. Oh, oh, I think you're slipping. This is how we do tip for tap where I'm from. Bye-bye, <laughs> birdie. He's an ass. <laughs> Second chance at life. You're a fucking miracle. Get away from me! Get away from me! You wanna let go? Be my guest. What's that smell, man? That ain't cool, me bro. <laughs> Where's me bar? Never. Want to live? There you go. Oh shit! It kind of oh, looks like my. you had a little accident. Oh, Someone my. might post a picture of that online. I feel like shit! Luis, how'd you boys get on after you left me? Okay, T. He's an annoying little fuck, but I think we saw eye to eye by the end of it. He ain't gonna be giving us no smack talk no more. That's excellent news. We should schmooze these citizen journalists more often. It will be my pleasure. Hello. We're mad at your club. I'm Ray Bulgari. Oh, yeah. You're the Russian who was asking about poor crookers and corpses. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't accommodate. I did not take you for the sensitive type. I'm spending some time here while I'll catch up with some old friends, and I need help with some things. I'm told you are the man to talk to. Listen, man. I got a real busy schedule. This is not an opportunity you want to miss out on, especially as I hear that gay Tony Prince's ship is sinking. Yeah, I don't know where you heard that. Just come to my house. We will talk. Have you heard the news? Evan is definitely dead. Okay. We expected this, though. Don't. don't freak out. He was an asshole. My guess is he was intending to steal the diamonds when the bikers got him. Okay, Evan was a conceited dick, a lowlife, a whore, a drug peddler, and a thief. He treated me like dirt. That's the kind of guy I like. You should start going back to the shrink, bro. Screw you. Anyway, that doesn't solve the diamond issue. Rocco's saying we owe him his share of the profits on top of everything else. This ain't good, man. But we'll find a way out of it. You've been in worse case before. I'm counting on your leadership. You believe those stories? Wow, I never took you for an idiot. I just pretended to know what I was doing. I'm a schmuck who got lucky. Shit, we really are screwed. 
32! 33! 30... Oh, come on! Ah! Come on, one more! Come on! Ah! Screw you, Mori! Why you gotta be such a cock? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you, Mori! Fuck me? <laughs> fuck me? You can't fuck me, baby B. Name one thing you have ever been able to fuck me at. One thing! Huh? I lift more weights. I fly better choppers. I have better cars. I screw better women. Hell, I screw women. My bling ain't CZ, and my paper ain't a photocopy. What's up, Lou? So again, one! Ah. Hey, Maury, I got to side with your brother on this one, man. I mean, you're fucking annoying. I mean, I work in nightclubs. I hang out with gangsters. I meet assholes 24 hours a day. But you, you take the cake, man. Oh, jeez, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm trying to toughen up my little bro here. My little bro who I love more than life itself. And you think that you can interfere with that? You know, I think maybe you're taking the tough love thing a little too far, man. I mean, I got sent to juvie when I was 17 years old for shooting a teacher who felt up my sister. They tried the tough love thing with me. It didn't fucking work too well. So maybe try a different fucking approach. You know what? I think you might be right. Come on, baby B. Let's hug it out. Yeah? Let's hug it out. OK! I love you. <laughs> I love you. I do. <laughs> I love you. It's just the truth is I'm, I'm jealous. I am. I'm jealous. I'm jealous that, that you are dating such a wonderful guy as Lou here. It's Luis. Whatever. I'm only kidding. Come on. Jesus, you guys are a couple of pent up queens, I swear. Come on. Let's go have some fun, huh? You too, B. Come on, stop sulking. Jesus, you're pathetic. <laughs> I love you, but you are such a pussy. Come on! Hey, we're picking these cars up on the north side of Middle Park. Hey, I got a gift for you bitches. Some headsets, so I can tell you what to do later. Hey, Brucey, bro, it's good to hang with you. I'm really happy you're along on this ride. Sorry, bro, are you a fucking with me? Come on, little B. Hey, what do you take me for? It's good to have Lopez along too, right? Hey, the three amigos. <laughs> yeah, with two men and a little cunt. <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Brucey? He called you a little cunt. Yeah, I wasn't talking about him, bro. Don't bring down a positive energy, Lopez. Me and my brother are having fun today. Yeah, man, we are. We should do this more often, bro. Oh, B, shit. Before I forget, there's this email that I got that I thought you'd be interested in. Oh, yeah? What's that? Oh, you see? It's this doctor. He's a fucking genius. Yeah, he says he's made this bill that is gonna sort out that penis problem you got. Nah. Fuck off, boy. I thought you were being cool, bro. No, no, I am, bro. I swear it. No, this guy can extend your hose by at least two to three inches. They call me an asshole, but I'd be really psyched if my bro was back in a four-inch bunch. How's that for cool? Shut up, Maury. The one thing you do got going for you is those roid ravaged beans in your sack. Yeah, anything would look big hanging next to those peanuts, right? Huh? Am I right? Shut the fuck up, Maury. <laughs> oh, pathetic. You see this guy, Lopez? What did I tell you? Yeah, I don't know, bro. I tend to stop listening when you open your mouth. Remind me again what you paid for that place in Broker, Brucey. Huh? Oh, and a garage, too. How much did you pay? I don't want to talk about this. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What are those properties worth now? <laughs> I said I don't want to talk about it, okay? Shit! You see? What did I tell you, Lopez? Overexposed like a stripper in Fleet Week. Only thing more useless than that little pecker of his is his portfolio. Ain't that right, Brucey? There's my boy, the loser. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip-off. Here you go. Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, don't go spend that all in one place, chump. All right, people. Money talks, and idiots walk. Button, bring down my car, man.
Tony R is turned. Come on, Lopez, we're waiting. The cops are gonna get us for sure. See how you take this corner. I'm surprised you can see shit from your low-ass driving position, Morgan. Did you see little Lou here, though? He started shitting his panties when the cops showed up. <laughs> hey, check it out, Brucey. You know, I think Lou here might be even slightly bigger pussy than you. <laughs> we're done, right? I mean, we're squared? You got your cars now, so now I don't have to sit here and listen to your tiny man bullshit. <laughs> sure, sure, Lou. Sure, sure, sure. You could go. If you're as dumb as you look. Ooh. Excuse me? You got an opportunity here. Look at me, look at me. Watch my lips move. I can teach you things. <laughs> Come on, think apprentice. Think uh, intern, minion, yeah. Think uh, squire boy. You, following me all around, learning to become a business mastermind. No more clubs, no more Tony Queen. You, my friend, could be free. <laughs> Maury, is this a joke, man? I mean, you're the guy that needs to learn something. Oh. Shit, you're awful, bro. I mean, maybe someone can teach you the most basic human behavior. Brucey, please, do this guy a favor. Brucey? Me? Yeah, you're the guy in the family with some manners. Whoa. You think that I could learn something from little B here? The marshmallow man. More. This pale piece of turd. All right, cut yeah. it out, M. The man is nothing but beyond right. pathetic. That's it, boy! Cut it out! Yeah! Yeah! Are yeah. you kidding? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, 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 God, oh, yeah. what the fuck, man, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, God, you know the rules. Oh, I'm sorry, Maury, I uh, forgot, man. Never, never in the face. Oh, come on, this is, this is top work up here. You know that I got a week and stuff up. Okay, oh, just, just, just don't tell mom, okay? <laughs> okay? Okay, 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 just, you're gonna take me home. Yeah, shit, okay, yeah, shit, come on, let's go, okay, okay, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Hey, I'll see you ladies later, okay? Yeah, uh, uh, I'll see you at the club or something, okay? Yeah, I heard something. <laughs> Nothing wrong with me, homeboy. I'm going to build the biggest fucking building in this fucking town. The biggest. My name will go down in history. Yeah, I don't doubt that, man. What you want? Well, I heard from a friend that we can get some real hardware. A bit like the chopper, but better, partner. Better. Yeah, I don't think I can handle any more of that shit, partner. Mm. I'm talking something seriously intense. How about a mother fucking noose tank? Give it up, bro. Come on, come on! Hey, what you need a noose tank for, man? What are you, crime fighting now? I want it. Come on, baby, you and me doing our tank thing? Just rolling like some desert storm niggas. Huh? Ooh, uh, Chinese person. Bye-bye, nigga! <laughs> you fucking ridiculous, man. Hey, man. Money, is it money? Is that money you want? Here, here, have it. But come on, let's go get this thing!
What are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Papa. Uh, this is my business associate, uh, and, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Louis. Mr. Uh, Mr. Louis. Allah, he is the greatest uh, technical advisor in the whole city. And uh, this is his wife, John This. <clears throat> Careful, motherfucker. Uh, yes, and uh, you know, we were Yo. just having a little right. creative meeting and things were a bit crazy and uh, I somehow lost my pants. <laughs> but you know, Papa, I tell you, you are looking. You're looking very well, in fact. I knew how disgraceful you were. But I didn't realize quite how shameful you were. No, Papa. <laughs> things are not how they look. <laughs> things do not look good, son. Don't judge a book by its cover, father. That's what you taught me. When a book is called guns, drugs, hookers, and no pants, I think I don't need to read it. Well, Papa, you know, these people, they mean nothing to me. In fact, they're just going, go, get out. You, Mr. Lewis, take your wife, Mrs. Lewis, and may I say, madame, this is not a very uh, appropriate way for a married woman to dress. I told them many times, father, this is a disrespectful way to dress. Do they listen to me? Yeah, no, never. And you, by the way, I'll text you uh, in about one minute about the tank, okay? The news tank? Shh! Go and leave right now. Don't you dare come back without knocking. First, these people are a disgrace, Papa. But I tell you, moving swiftly on, you will be very proud of my plans. I want to show you for the Imperial Amir Towers. I tell you, Papa, magisterial doesn't do justice to it. <laughs> Yusuf? Luis, I think I can give old Papa that slip. Meet me in Star Junction. Really, bro? I'm coming, Dada. Just hold on. See you soon, my friend. Calculating route. Please make a U-turn where safe.
Yusuf, bro. Where you at, man? Over here, man. Where? Up here, motherfucker! <laughs> Shit! Stand back while I pick this thing up! Okay, man. Thanks for everything, bro. You're a fucking diamond. Don't mention it. Yo, Mr. Bulgari here? I don't care hey. if he does want to sell. I want to buy. How much would you offer the last time? Double it. Offer 20 million, and then we see if it is not for sale. If this Banking is not hanging on my wall. Your hat will be. Okay? Think about that. You want I should pay visit to his children at their school? Not yet. I think there's always a prize in this city. Oh, Louis, excuse us. We have been rude. Don't worry about it, man. I like the setup here. These guitars are all collector's items. Celebrity rock memorabilia. Okay, man, good for you. Got a nice place here, Mr. B. That is piece of shit. I bought it for my sister. Hey, you bring oh. me to this fucking country, and you keep me in an ugly cage. No one on TV lives in fucking Dukes. Then you come and move all my stuff into hallway and fill place with fucking guitars. Shut up, bitch. Take your pills. A friend of mine is here. Ha! You don't have any friends. You don't even have a business here. You are nothing in this My country. sister. She's still getting adjusted. We all are. So how can I help you? Fuck you, Ray. You have ruined my life. Yes! Yes! <sighs> a difficult situation. It seems I'm being investigated by the National Office of Security Enforcement. There is a particular unit that has a hard on for me. And why? Because Mark Yashwili won Selma the Rampage. You'll get rid of them. I will own this fucking team. Hey, the problem ain't just gonna disappear over here if we kill some crooked cops. Leave that strategizing to me. If the money tells you to cut your fucking legs off, you'll do it. Because the money is better than a fucking leg. The money is making the plans. That's the American way. All right, man. Thank you. I like you. I make you rich. I make you man. Maybe I'll make you a man with one leg, but <laughs> I'll make you a rich man with one leg. There is this team tracing a cow mine. Take out the whole team, no exceptions. Okay, man, if that's what the money wants. You're a bright guy, Luis. I still like you. You made a good choice coming here. Fag man, no good. Go. Roll the bitch. Ting. Ting, 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 ting. Right. Here, you will need these sticky bombs for the party. I ain't gonna take you up on the bomb offer, because I got my own. But I will take that advanced MG you got there. It's good to have you with us, Louis. Yeah? Yes. It must be nice for you to get out from the under big Tony. I don't know what you're implying, bro. Tony and me are partners. I got a stake in the Enterprise. <laughs> a stake, sure. You still take orders from here, don't you? You clean up your shit. Look, it could be much more than that. Unless you enjoy working for such a man, partner or whatever you call it. Really, bro? I don't know. When I was left to my own devices, I got locked up. At least with Tony's guidance, I ain't doing time. No hats. For now, no hats. But do you think you're achieving everything you could? A man with your talents, in your condition, you could have you know you want. See. I didn't get to where I am without being able to see the world of man. That's real flattering, Mr. Bulgari. But whatever it is you're offering, I'm gonna have to decline. Me and Tony's is a business relationship. He gets his kicks elsewhere, but he's been a good boss to me, and a good guy. Help me out. I'm not a fucking faggot! Whatever you say, bro. But what are you talking about? I was saying that I may be interested in investing in your potential. Potential as what? 
As a businessman, I am looking for someone here in Liberty City with the correct relationship. I already got one employer. Like I said, he's been good to me. Of course, but what is he? He is a drug addict, a madman. You are useful to him, but you think that is all he wants from you. <laughs> when some new muscle-bound pretty boy comes along, he will forget about you and your precious stake in the Tony Prince Empire. Whatever, bro. Can we talk about something else? What am I doing here? You are helping me with my business. This don't seem like legitimate business to me, man. Nothing can be achieved here in Liberty City with actual pigs rooting through my affairs. For anything to happen, they must be eliminated. Okay, man. Hello? You really can't buy these people off? Sam, let's go in. Leave the car in this empty space over by the pillar. We will conceal ourselves. Place a bump where they will not see it. These guys are all crooked, huh? Marty has this in his pocket. This news team is in charge of half the drugs running in the city. Do not let your conscience worry you. Now, Louis, we see if you can handle this out. Shut up. Target sighted. Let's finish this and get payment for Ashley. It's an eight when they near the car. Close it, people! Excellent, excellent, Max Kachakas, bro! I still have the smell of meat in nose. Bro, it's true. You are one who blew them up. That you did, Louis. A serviceable job. Most competent. How'd I get myself into this shit, man? You didn't get yourself into this? I choose you. I pick you out because I see potential in you. You're lucky to be here. Yeah, great, thanks. But if you need more cops taken out, crooked or otherwise, you ain't choosing me. Look at this. The sensitive modern American man. You need to go home and exfoliate your boots. May as well cut them off. What the fuck is this? I don't like killing government agents, so I ain't got no boss. Give me a break. Okay, calm down. We got no more law enforcement to expand. For now. Those were the only guys smack ahead on us. You think he will sell? 
He has no choice but to sell. We have taken away his protection. It's that simple, is it? It should be. Maki is a weakling. He lives here in exile, like all cowards. But he has been here for a long time, so he has more connections that others of us have not been able to acquire. This little creep should have severed the good deals of those connections and will give others involved a pause before they continue their association. Okay. Perhaps I will buy gloves of you as well. You sell them to me? The gloves is levers to the max already, man. I don't know if there's anything left to sell. I don't care about other investors. They will forget about debts if I'm involved. Some of these investors aren't the type to go away. They aren't the type to pay off either. Anyway, it's not my place to sell them. I have a stake, but Tony's got the controlling share. Ha! Ha! Of course! Tony pulls the string and the little puppet man dance for him. Let me know when Tony Max has hand up your ass and ventriloquist Danny can talk. Fuck, man. What's wrong with you? Your stake is bullshit. You think you run the club, but you are still just security. You are Tony Skip, and you won't admit it. It's not like that. This what you want to do your whole life? No, but seriously, bro. I have opportunities for you. Think about that. Think about what I said to you. The offer will not be fair forever. Okay, I will. Send my regards to Big Tony. Sure. Can I get you anything? A drink? Oh, something stronger. Huh? I'm cool, bro. You know how to play the drums? We need a fucking drummer. I ain't your man, bro. Sorry. You Spanish have the rhythm. Give us a fucking beat, man. You don't drum, but you dance, don't you, Luis? You dance. I can dance, man, but not with you and him. That's a shame. You dance, Mr. B? Money doesn't dance the money. Doesn't dance, my friend. Okay, but you need some work done. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait. Listen. Ooh. Ah, this is it. This is it. Ooh. Hey, can you ask the ape to stop playing for a second? You want I should stick $50,000 guitar up your ass? No, but I got some friends I can introduce you to if that's how you get your kicks. Oh, funny guy. All right. All right, okay. You have heard about Liberty City Rampage. The owner still will not accept my offers. I have been more than reasonable. You mean after you killed this special team of cops? It's weird, you want me to negotiate with him? No, the time for negotiations over. Do what needs to be done in his boardroom. Send a message. Hey, I ain't a hitman, bro. I mean, I'll fight anyone, do whatever. But I ain't a contract killer. The officers are in the me TV buildings. Getting in will not be easy. You'll have to find someone else, man. I mean, it's not my thing. I ain't qualified for that shit. I'm sorry. I wasn't discussing your career development. I was telling you what to do. No! Fuck off and go! Поехали! We must pick up Chopper. Go to airport. Hey, I'm sorry to break up your party, man. You look like you were having fun. Mr. Ray wanted me to keep watch on you. Make sure you do a pull. Hey, I don't need no watcher. Mr. Ray think you do. Shit! You think I won't be here? Whatever. Okay. So? So fucking what? So, what's up, bro? Fuck off. Chill, man. I'm just trying to converse with you. My job is hospitality Your and... job is kill Marky Ashley for Ray Bulgarin. Dimmer, bro. I like to think I can talk to people. I try to put them at ease. Make them open up. Sure. They open up when you shoot in their head. You put people in the ground, my friend. 
You kill her like me. That's what Bulgarian want you to do. So that's what you do. Hospitality is for weaklings. You're hard work, bro. Fuck you! You are hard work. Don't even know what you are. Hey, I know who I am. Sure, I do bad shit, but that ain't who I'm gonna be forever. <laughs> I've heard this before. Fuck off. You want me to shut up? Good. Good. Great. Total fucking silence from here on in. We go above Star Junction. High as you can go. I'm gonna swing out over the Broco Bridge. We'll gain some height and come back over the city. Here is a headset. I will tell you what you must be doing with it when you're inside. Great. Thanks. Can you tell me what the plan is? Ashfully office is in Meat TV building. You're not going to get in from ground, so you come in from above. Out the chopper? Great. He's not so tough. I would do, but there is chance Ashville's people come for my family back in old place. And you ain't worried about my family? No. Tell me why we can't just land on the building. You think they would not notice Chopper landing on building? You must go in silent. Perfect. When you get in building, I will give instructions through headset. You kill Ashville, send message and leave building. I pick you up on ground. Sounds real tough for you, tough guy. Oh, shit. There is someone on roof. Find out what is up. This shit die now! We have him now! I'm gonna shoot this bitch in the balls! How you doing this? Another bomb, bro! Don't join me! You are surrounded! You ain't even working! <laughs> we have that fucked now! Where'd you hear that from? Timmer? That guy left me to get killed, bro. Some getaway driver. He's an impatient man. He does not suffer weakness. Fuck you. So what? You had to drive yourself away. You are still alive. I think much of your abilities. They will be a place for you in my new empire. Please, come to see me soon.
You who self? Yeah, hey, Luis. My man. How's things, bro? Yeah, not that great. My father, he is a very passionate and angry and very disrespectful man. But listen, can you come and meet me at the construction site? I have something to discuss. Yeah, okay, man. I'll try to come by. Yo, D, there ain't been a disaster, has there? <laughs> Nothing like that. I'm just thinking you could put in some hours at the Masonette. Make sure we're running things to your exacting standards. I know you can handle it, bro. But if you want me there, I'll come by. Yo, nigga! Would you shut the fuck up, man? What's wrong with you? Oh, yo, yo, easy, amigo. I'm just pleased to see you. Yeah? Come on, baby. Give me some skin. Come on. What are you doing here? Well, you know, it's my father, uh... Hey, you know, my ancestors, we built the pyramids, baby. We built the ziggurats. <laughs> we invented math and shit. I'm here. I'm not afraid. I get my hands dirty. Well, I can work. Whatever, man. How's it going? Oh, epic, homie. This shit is epic. People are bad about this shit in the future, baby. I'm talking luxury on a whole new level. This place is going to be so expensive, people won't even be able to afford it. <laughs> it's going to be drowned in gold. You know, it's like, uh, yo, 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 is that a diamond in your pocket? You just pleased to see me and shit. <laughs> Whoa, man. You know, the sales sheet is going to say, ah, the impossible dream. Priceless indulgence. Style. By Yusuf Amir, a timeless classic. Timeless classic! Yeah, sounds perfect, man. Just what the people want right now. But what are you doing here? Psh. I'm crafting this whole thing with my bare hands. Okay, cool, man. Listen, it was good catching up with you, okay? I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah, not so fast, homie. Yo, could you uh, give me a ride to my helicopter? I can tell you something along the way. But I thought you was busy building the pyramids. Yo, all work and no play makes Yusuf a dull boy. Come on, baby, it'll be fun. Head out to the east side of the Algonquin Bridge, my dude. In one. Oh, yeah, look. No. Just in case. You mind if I hit you up for some of them exploding shells? Thanks, man. What you after this time, man? I got you that tank thing and the chopper. What now? You want the Statue of Happiness for your backyard? Excellent idea, my friend. But that will have to wait. All right, then. What are we after? Wait for it. I'm waiting. You ready? Just fucking tell me, bro. A mother fucking subway train! Oh yeah, baby! The prize of the fleet! The ass-fucking flagship of the LTA! Give it up! What you want a subway train for? We're taking that shit out to the Gulf for a new Liberty City theme development out there. Check this out. Genuine LTA submarine train! Get that shit going through a precious and delicate coral reef. Ah, perfect! Aside from how fucking dumb that sounds, how am I supposed to take that thing? Not going to be easy, dog. No one likes people fucking with their public transport in this paranoid age. Can't you just buy yourself a subway car, bro? No, man. Shit. We need the genuine article, the real deal. You think we could put the Amir name to anything but authentic shit? Yo, how am I supposed to pull this off? Okay, we just need the front car of the train. You jump on board, you climb to the front, and you unhook the car. I'll handle all the rest. Real simple, man. I don't know why I hang out with you, bro. Because you fucking love this shit, homie. Ain't nothing like rolling with this Arabic bad boy. That, and I'm going to put your clubs on the world stage. We'll have a lounge on the moon by the time we're done. For real. Yo, me? I can't believe I'm doing this. Believe it, baby. Pinch yourself. You ain't dreaming. This is no film. The city is our playground, homie. Here's the spot. I have to go now, man. Wait here above the tracks.
Hey, Tom, what's happening, bro? Besides my life falling apart in front of my eyes, not much is happening, bro. Someone told me they saw you driving around with some Russians. What the fuck are they? You've gone over to the dark side? Really? That's funny, man. Your friend must have been mistaken. Okay, of course. Shit, the stress is really getting to me. Calm shit down, T. And don't take it out on me. I'll be by soon. Take care of yourself. Ah, Mr. Lois. Hey, where's the one-man Ben? He's working. Oh, okay. Ray! Hey, Ray! Have company! Shut up! Don't tell me to shut up! So, I've heard from some people, I know, that maybe you have some diamonds for sale. Not me, my boss, Tony. <laughs> my other boss. Yeah, yeah. You got them from the fat cook. Ray! Yeah. I'll stay as long as I like! You think you're a big man? Where's your house on Middle Park East? Where's your big sports team, huh? Shut up, you can't! <laughs> Shut up, you fucking can't! Hey, man, she okay? A big gun next to a big man, huh? Your thingy was tiny even before the wrestling coach make you take steroids. Mother always said she only had daughters. Ignore her, Luis. The diamonds. I, I gotta talk to Tony. You gotta talk to Daddy. I thought I was making you a real man, not a rand boy. Well, I can't sell what ain't mine, bro. And plus, with all the work I put in for you, I don't really feel like a man yet. Okay. Soon, man, soon. I want you to come to Moose back. He's going to talk to some people. I need you there. Okay, man, I got it. But you should chill out, bro. Let me decide when to chill out. Go! Hey. Yeah, what's up? I'm here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. You're in position. Do you see a box in front of you? Yeah. Open it. Have you opened it yet? No, give me a sec. No. Okay, I'm here. Do you recognize that man? Shit! I believe you parted with him in a diamond deal. Yo, what the fuck? Is this the guy we bought the ice from? You colluded with him to steal from me. Yo, we just got some rocks off him, okay? Look, listen. No, yo, listen. I offered you an opportunity, yet you were plotting against me. Yo, I know shit about those rocks. But I believe it doesn't matter. I will do everything in my considerable power to drive you and your faggot master from this earth. Goodbye. Oh, shit! Fucking great! to work with that guy. Gordon, you're so stupid. I might just deserve this shit. You are all mine. Ray, you asshole. More trouble than they worth. Damn. Locked. What the fuck? Luis, shit! I 
I've been looking for you. Listen, Tony, I got something to talk to you about. You remember that Ray Bulgarian guy? That Russian gangster? You think he'd lend us the money we need to get out of this shit? He's bad news. I hate to be the voice of reason here, but I don't think we need that kind of stress in our lives. Oh, yeah, man. We already got it. I talked to him about some opportunities. It turns out the diamonds we bought were stolen off him in the first place. He cut that cook's head off, man. Long story short, he wants us dead. Poor old chef. What were you doing talking to these guys without me, Lou? I'm sorry, man. I fucked up. Kind of refreshing, though, for me to be the one getting us in shit for once. Don't you think? Yeah, a real relief. Yourself. You staying out of trouble, man? You better believe it, bro. Totally guilt-free. It's business, business, business with me. Yeah, why does that make me think you're about to ask me to do some dumb shit? <laughs> what do you take me for? I'm a giver, not a taker. I don't need anything from you. I want to make a gift of my car to you. It's a special machine, but no, what you have done for me recently is more special. Thanks a lot, bro. You didn't need to do that, though. No, I did. Yeah, there's a little bit of fun for you in the club compartment. I think you will enjoy it. All right, man. I'll check that out. Yeah, and thank you again. Yeah. Yo, hey, man. Hey, man. Tony inside? Uh, yeah, but can I speak to you for a minute? No, not really. No, it'll just take a minute, man. I really need you to speak to Tony. I did, and you can't move to Mason. Then. No, 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 man. Not that. Not that. Guess what? I'm gonna be famous. Seriously. So? 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 Are you insane, man? What else matters? The production company here, man, belongs to one of the guys. They are gonna make a show about me. Me. I mean, they were gonna make one about this Puerto Rican guy in Bohan, but he disappeared. Now, they're gonna make a show about me. Bro, you spend every night standing here in the exact same spot. It's very stressful, man, but it's got it all. Think about it, drama, action, sex, love. It's got everything. And they're all gonna shoot it through the eyes of, of, of a tough guy hey, with a heart. Here? Yeah, I'm sure, and it sounds all like fantastic entertainment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back down to earth. Okay, if you could excuse me also. Hey, 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 did I say yeah, next? You said I was next, man. You s hey, listen, man, get you back in line. You said I was next. Yeah, you know what, we're full. Fuck of. you, you said. I'll give you a shot when I get back. Yeah, I'm not on drugs, man. I know, I know. I'm not on drugs. My favorite dude, Luis, what's up? Oh, yeah, Yusuf, I can't chat right now. You mind if I borrow your chopper? Which one, man? I got a fleet. The special one, the one with all that military shit. The buzzard? Of course, bro. It's practically yours anyway. Ah, you love what I've done with her. She's over at my pad on the West River. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Ain't no one gonna expect a golden chopper to shoot them to shit. Let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. Of course. No problem. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Unmarked bills. No history, no need to launder. Good. Nico, show him the stuff. Get in there, Maury. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great. Oh. Rest of you motherfuckers want to die? Do something stupid, okay? Fuck you! Just get the shit, man! Come on! Wait, wait, wait! Listen, if you get me out of here, I promise I'll split this with you. Can you do me a favor and not take this too personally? What? <clears throat> These were stolen from us first, bro. Screw you! ancient art of understatement from you. Here are those rocks. Try to hold on to them this time. Thanks. They'll go straight to safe. Yeah, sure. Right next to the emergency a -pole. I'll see you soon, T. 200 yards. Turn left. Louis! Hey, bro. Thanks for letting me the buzzer. Love what you've done with the paintwork. Real subtle. Stealth attack shit. That's what I do, motherfucker! Sneak up on them bitches! in the fucking sand, then flew! I'm a cobra! I'm a cobra in the sky, flying with my cobra wings! I'm the executive flying cobra! When I stick my tongue in you, you know you've been poisoned! Uh, 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 I'm glad there could be a resistance anyway. Well, exactly. Thanks. I appreciate it. Luis, hello, my friend. Uh, did you like the car? Uh, did you like the other gift? The gun? Fuck me, bro. Solid go! <laughs> All is the best for you, Luis. It makes a statement, doesn't it? Shit, it sure does. Thanks a lot, Yusuf. We are brothers. It is nothing. I've got three more myself. <laughs> See you soon, my friend. Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man, Luis Gracie. Luis Gracie. What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Hell, Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. What are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. She's a tough princess. Oh, they fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. <laughs> you never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -Kor. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? <laughs> if it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags on the street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. You know, if you can get past the accent, 
Okay, but she made you into a useless soap queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Luis. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck you, Luis. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Lord, no. You're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. You're the closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye. Tony, c c come on, man. Goodbye. I love you. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, uh, you dumb prick? Huh? Get up. Get up so uh, I can kill you myself. Get up. Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh, Come on. Get up. Uh, Get up, you old uh, bastard. Oh. Huh? Let's, let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Louise. Jesus Christ. The Ancelotti said I should use their chopper. It's at the heliport on top of the entrance of the booth tunnel. What are we gonna do with a chopper? What do you think we're doing on this outing? We're looking for Gracie. You got any ideas where we might start doing that? It's a big city, though. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, T. You're just overdramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off a gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, you mean? Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay. So we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We've just got to follow them, see if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper crazy. I wouldn't wish that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Gracie's got my back over some chump of dudes. You're right. That could be the smart bet. Our old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh, yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. It's the diamonds, Lou. Rocco's had a word with him. Here's the Ancelotti chopper. Let's not screw it up as well. Come on, hurry up, man. Oh, my God. Take us over to Cerveza Heights. Their house is over there. So, this isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get out? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh, wait. We've tried that, and it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh, yeah. I've already been pimped off once, T. And I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? Leaving. Follow it. Where is he going? I don't know where he's going, you idiot. That's why we're following him. Okay, all right. But which way do you think he's heading? West. I can see he's going west. Where west? There's a lot of shit west of Dukes. Could be Algonquin. Could head all the way over to Alderney. He might not be going west at all. Might be heading over to the Eastboro Bridge so he can get himself up to Bohan. Fuck! I just be heading down the block for a slice of pie. Shit! Okay, okay, I take your point. 
If you see him stopping, let me know. You'll see him stopping too, bro. You ain't going to sleep on me, are you? You think I could go to sleep at a moment like this? Why? You ain't got your pills? No, I don't actually. I didn't even take an anti-anxiety, and you know how I feel about flying. You'll throw a guy out of chopper, but you won't go for a riding one? You should have shared your anti-anxiety pills with the celebrinator. No amount of pills would prepare you for that. Don't fuck with the Thorny Prince Empire, baby. That's what's up. Public relations at its finest. If we can throw every fucking blogger out of chopper, bro, keep them fools in line. We can start an outsourcing company. We'll be rich overnight. Strangely enough, that's exactly what we need to be. Stop driving suspiciously, Lou. He'll get wise to us. Get yeah, wise? What are we, in some gumshoe novel now? I'm driving as unsuspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fan. Oh, yeah. Play the minority part. Very clever. Unfortunately, I'm a minority too, so fuck you. What's he going back to the park for? He on to us? He's just going for a drive, T. Come on, you dumb dukes, fuck! Take us to her! You yell loud enough, he might just hear you. Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spiritual shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of monk beans. That image is gonna stick with me. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than dukes, I mean. They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time at Alderney State. Irish like those guys who robbed our bank? They could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great. What is it? We stop that bus car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them cooking, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. This is a great bit of improvisation, Lou. But I think we should... Shit! I can't see the car! Leave the torture to professionals, people in government. I see him! He's crossed over to Alderney! He's coming out of the booth right now! You know how they got Gracie? Something to do with that pink piece of shit car she had. They think the guy pretended he wanted to buy it. She should have got suspicious the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you'd probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit, you cliche-loving moron. There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant, veiny, penis-shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. He's going in the parking lot. What's going on? I don't know. Shit. She could be in the trunk of a car in there. She could be in the trunk of the red piece of shit we're following. They would have checked that. Let's see if she comes out. That's him, isn't it? He better fucking take us back to Gracie now. Look, he's stopping. That must be where they're keeping Gracie. It's somewhere, at least. What street is that? I don't know Alderney well, bro, but I think the big one's Sacramento. Call it in. Let's head back to the helipad. You gonna call him? I'm texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to master all new forms of communication. Always find a new way of profiting. If we pull this off, we'll profit. We'll get to keep our spinal cords. Great. I like my spinal cord, bro. It would be a fucking shame to lose it. Okay, man. Let me know if they find Gracie. I hope for our sake they do. See you soon, partner. Hello. Hola, burrito. Rocco, how'd you get my fucking number? I don't want to talk to you. Too bad, Mex. This line opened up just as soon as Tony took those points. You know, Rock, your guinea ass is lower down this country's ethnic food chain than mine. So don't fucking condescend me. Oh, I got Senora Sensitive here. Hey, look, I respect you, so I'm going to talk straight a second. Tony's pissed a lot of people off. 
You need to control him. Tony's gonna calm down as soon as you stop sending us on suicide missions. Oh, look at my position. Some serious moolah, yos. You think the higher powers are gonna stop expecting envelopes from me because of the homo's midlife crisis? Doctor's notes don't cut it with these people. Be reasonable there, Rock. Chinatown? Bahama Mamas? Those fucking bombs? That's some out-of-control shit, man. No! Tony's some out-of-control shit. Think about what he has got you into. But if you think about it too long, then there might be no getting out of it. Comprende? Not really, bro. Goodbye. Okay. If we walk in confident, we have a good time. <laughs> okay. Hey, you on the list? Yes. No. Yes. No. Then you're not coming in. Oh, wait a minute, man. We're relatively important people. We're going in, bro. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. You're not coming in. Come on, man. I'm a VIP. We, we come here all the time. Hey, Des. Hey, man. Tony, I ain't seen him. Hey, man! Luis! Bro, can you get us in? Hey, Brucey. Yeah, sure. Uh, Tessie, take care of them. Oh, thanks, oh. man! Keep it cool, keep it cool. No. Man, I'm no, going to no, see no, some no, vagina no, tonight! You walked in with one, bro. What? Never mind, man. Hey! So I'm going to go get the drinks! Okay! Good seeing you guys, man. I gotta take care of something. Hey, wait, listen, can I just say something, man? Listen, can I just say, the way you dealt with Bori, man, I was really great. Thank you. Hey, uh, don't mention it, man. Unless you want me to kill him. Maybe. Hey, listen, you know, you're not like me. That's right, you're like a, a lone wolf. An adventurer. Tough butt. With a sense of this. Not really, bro. I like killing for money. Yes, yes, I know, but that's just your thing, man. <sighs> What's your problem, what? man? Nothing. I didn't mean nothing by it. I'm not gay. It's cool, man. Just don't do it again, hey, man. Hey, look, I fucked three girls last night, man. One of them can't even walk. I mean, now. If she could walk before, she didn't need a wheelchair or anything. Look, I was just checking to make sure you weren't gay, bro. Yo, not a problem, man. I, I gotta go. Hey, listen. Hey, Luis. Come on, man. We gotta go. Let's go. Alright, man, peace out, bro! Thank God you showed up, bro. What? I never thought seeing you would make things feel more heterosexual. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, sweetheart. Yeah, it's probably best. We're heading over to Fish Market South. What's happening, Pete? We're getting Gracie back. She's coming home. You mean taking her back? Or oh, this gonna be tranquilo? God, I hope so. They're getting the diamonds for her, so they better behave. Shit. Wait a second. Slow up, man. What have the diamonds got to do with Gracie? What the fuck have we got to do with Gracie? Should her old man be handling this? Apparently, the kidnappers have asked for these rocks, and we aren't being given much of a choice about it, if you catch my meaning. Oh, great. Angry mobsters, kidnappers, maniacs. Sounds like another fun day. The exchange is on Charge Island. They're coming by land. We're on the water. Tony, man. These diamonds. What about them? Yo, man. Rainbow got is claiming ownership, and he's got some serious resources. Maybe we should think about handing them over to him. We got two options, though. Either we give them to the Russian, and Ancelotti kills us, or we give them over to the kidnappers. Gracie lives, or we take our chances with the Russian. All right, man. Sounds like you got everything figured out. I got nothing figured out. Half the city wants to kill me, but they'll be lucky if they can get a chance before I die of a heart attack. Easy, though. Oh. <sighs> Last chance, D. So you want to hand this stuff over? Sure, I'm sure. Father's gonna kill us if we don't. Yeah, it makes it nice and simple. <laughs> yeah, lends a lot of clarity to my thinking. Gracie, you all right? 
bastards didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. Oye. Oh, yeah. We put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, you send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Back safe and sound, Tom. I hope she was worth two mil. You hit her, right? She had a boating accident. Make sure her old man understands that. I don't want to see her again. Okay, sailor. So long. Tom. Fuck, Lou. Have you heard? That our lives are falling apart? No. Yes. No. Sort of. The city's closed down the clubs. You serious? Motherfuckers. All this fucking bullshit, and we forgot to pay off the Citadel. Shit, D. Maybe this is a good thing. At least we can concentrate on getting off every gangster's hit list. We better do it quick. There's no more money coming in. It's only gonna get worse for us. Fuck me, I need some blow. Oh. Luis Lopez. What could you possibly have to say that I'd want to hear, Rock? Time to face the facts, Jack. Frankly, you fucked. There's a rich Russian having a powwow with the old man about you and the fag. FYI, they ain't talking about handing you a special commendation. Well, what the fuck are me and Tone supposed to do about that? Let's leave the homo out of this for a minute. Meet me and Uncle Vincenzo in the public toilets in Middle Park. We gotta talk in person. 100 yards. Turn left. Listen, man, I told you. I didn't know shit about who owned them diamonds. Uh, maybe you should have asked. Instead, you ran around the city making a fool of me. You and your second boss will be killed for this. I will do everything in my power Shit, to... I think the scene was dropping, man. Later, bro. That's what I told him. That shit would never have happened back in the day. <laughs> What's up, ladies? Still living the high life, I see. Fuck you. <laughs> what you doing here, cruising? It's very funny. <laughs> you know, Mr. Ancelotti still blaming all that diamond shit for Gracie's kidnap? Well, you did bring the heat down on the club, so... 
can understand why they blame you. Yeah, and those chinks, they're still fucking pissed at that dispute of ours. Again, fair enough. Whatever, it don't matter, right? What matters is the Russian has come to Mr. Ancelotti and said he wants the head of anyone involved with the diamonds. Now, on top of all that Gracie and chink shit, the old man is pissed. He <laughs> wants blood. I think we can cut a deal. We give him one body, all right? So basically, it's you or Tony. One of you has to die. Me and Vince would prefer to work with you and the clubs over the faggot, so you're lucky. You kill Tony. You get to keep the clubs. You and us together, partners. Either that, or the Russian is gonna send some serious people round to whack you and the fag with Ancelotti's sanction. Yeah, you both get whacked. <laughs> you're way out of your league, kid. And you? You're a fucking loser hanging out with children living a fantasy life. I ain't killing Tony. But I may be about to kill you two fucks, though. Then you're a dead man. You and your family and those spick drug dealers you hang out with, you're all dead. It's your choice. It ain't our fault. Fuck you. Think about it. I'll be in touch. You fucking spick. Oh! There he is. Thank God you got here, Luis. These, these fucking guys. I talk to them. Tell them we can figure it out. It ain't that simple, Tom. Sure it is. We got money coming. We can expand, refurb, rebrand. I'm an earner. I'm a survivor. I've been in this game since 1987. Ouch. The terrible irony. You better tell them. Tony, man. What? Things are kind of fucked, man. These guys, man. These fucking guys. You never should have brought them in, man. Now somebody's got it. You know. The mix is with us now. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Times change, Tony. Your brand of charming homosexuality, it's kinda run out of steam. Someone has to pay for what's gone down. Do it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. After all we've been through, Lou! I'm sorry, T. You... You was family, man. But it's either you or all of us. The Russians are coming, man. We don't got time for this gay shit. Fucking pop them already. You fucking moron! Hey, I had second thoughts, man. You fucking killed yourself just then. The Russians. Fucking everyone, they're coming after you. The old man, you're fucking dead. The both of you, they're coming any second and they're expecting corpses. We better not disappoint then. Ah, keep your head, Lou. He's a made guy. Fuck him. All right, get out of here, Rocco. This is for the old man and that's it. You're a dead man, Taco. Get out of my club, you fucking mook. You sure that was smart? You sure not shooting me was smart? I don't think so. All right. All right. We can operate, we're gonna need some, some goodwill here. What now? I don't know. Didn't he say the Russians are coming? Doesn't <laughs> stop, does it? Outside. Then we're gonna have to go meet him, boss. It's gotta end sometime. 
I can't go out there. Get rid of them, Lou. Hey, fucking asshole! T. T, please, don't be stupid. I'll just come find you. Shit. Ray, listen. You fuck with me, Luis! No, no, not at all. That's how things seem. But trust me, that wasn't my intention. You fuck with me! And now I'm going to fuck with you! You little cunt! You are dead! 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 You understand? No. Could you say it again, please? Fuck you! I'm still not getting it. What about a third time? Can't. Bye. Hey. <laughs> Fuck off, Luis. Ay, Dios mío. Have we been through this already? Been through the fact that you wanted to kill me? Been through the fact that you're far from alone that desire? This is over. It's over. I just want to go someplace far away from here and quietly wait to die. I lived it. I lived it hard, and now I'm ready to end it. Oh, shut up, you hysterical fucking queen. Get a grip, bro. Oh, yes. Silly me. <laughs> Silly fucking me. <laughs> the Russian mob want me dead. My best friend just contemplated murdering me. The mob are on my case. I'm massively in debt, and, and I just lost $2 million worth of diamonds. Any other man would just Dust himself off and carry on. Look, uh, okay, I'm sorry I thought about killing you. I really am. But if you keep up with the bullshit, I might have to kill you for real. Fuck off, Luis. No, you fuck off, Tony. I didn't kill you. I wanted to. Why? Because you've become a useless junkie fuck. That's why. But I didn't. And now, it's you and me against the world, okay? And if your brains ain't working right, then I'll make the decision for us, okay? It's Bulgari or us. Or you can shoot us both and make his life easy for him. You're kind of clever, aren't you? I only hired you because I thought you were dumb. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Are you coming now? Yes, I'm coming now. Well, let's go, come on. Garen was moving some smack out at the Funland on Firefly Island. So, say we find him, what are we gonna do then? We're gonna take out their income stream, and then we're gonna take them out. End this bullshit. Okay, I'm armed, I'm dangerous, let's fucking do this! Come on, T, give me a break. What? We're in this together! Tony, bro, I love you, but I should handle this alone. I don't want you getting yourself killed. Then you're gonna have to punch me out again, Lou. Don't make me, man. You know you're just gonna slow me down, bro. And kill us both. I want at least one of us to survive. Lou? Look, D, don't go home. Don't go to the clubs. Don't go nowhere anyone might conceivably think to look for you. There aren't many places like that left in the city, I'm afraid. Come on. Where do you think you can hide that no one would expect? I have no fucking clue. Uh, Dukes. I ran away from there when I was a kid, and I swore blind I'd never go back, apart from to catch a plane. Okay, cool. Hit up, like, uh, that monoglow monument thing in Meadows Park. Hang out for a few hours. If I survive this shit, I'll find you. If I don't show, then I'm gone. Move to Brazil. Move somewhere. We'll never look back, T. I thought I was the annoying drama queen in this pairing. I'm serious, T. This is my last testament. Yo, send some money to my mom sometimes. And tell her I love her. Okay, Lou, shit. You'll be fine. Shit. 
No one in this whole crazy town is crazy enough to take you down. Now Raskolov is dead, we have sole claim to the junk. Coming apart. What do you need? Let me help you out. There ain't nothing you can do, Houston. If this crazy Russian fuck manages to leave the country, it's over for me and Tom. I gotta get down to Dushi's Bestway without any number of Russian assassins taking me down. Or we're done. Why am I even saying this? Wish me luck, bro. Show 
shoot me, you'll blow a whole plane up. I'll take my chances. Sorry, Pops. Oh, come on, get up. Get up. Oh. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself, okay? Stay away from idiots like me. Fuck you. You always have to make a scene, don't you? Yeah, I know. It's a real problem with me, you know? I wish I was more like you. Subtle, shy, retiring. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, boy. I used to play around here when I was a kid, dreaming of the world, wondering what it was like at that place over there or that little island over there. You ever go that thing? Nah, I went to Algonquin instead, waiting for the world to come to me. You did it, man. You did it. You, you saved my life. You, you saved the business. You, you fucking did it. Hey, man, I did what I could, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. But I don't want you to get a big head. I don't want you to go uh, change, become a megastar, go to Vinewood, write a blog. Oh. <laughs> You're a pill-popping old queen, man. I'm a murdering maniac. But we survived, bro. We survived. We did more than survive, amigo. We prospered. We took on this town and we won. We took on this place and we gave it the fucking finger. Fuck you all! I don't care what people say. Tony Prince and Luis Lopez could not be stopped. Huh? Oh, jeez, who's this? What's up, my niggas? Oh, did he just say that? Uh, yeah, hey, man. You fucking made it. Man, that was some serious gangster shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot him up. I said shoot, shoot, shoot him up. <laughs> Yo, T, T, give me a hug, give me a hug. Not too close, though. I don't want to give my father the wrong impression. Ah, Luis, I love you, man. I love you. I love you, too. I love everyone. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, I think my father may be into franchising clubs. <laughs> I know. Franchise is not the way to go. The, the club is all about the people. Fuck the people. Fuck them all. We pat your dick and piss all over them. <laughs> You're going to go a long way in hospitality, my friend. <laughs>